What's going on, everybody? Welcome to part two of our beautiful episode where we allow Muslims to come up here and prove us wrong, but just not, not just us, Thaddeus and Maximus Swagamus, but Ali Dawa, who is the newest up and coming Christian apologist on the scene, right? So you guys are welcome to come in and tell us if there are really scientific miracles in the Quran. Thaddeus, David Wood, Maximus Swagam, smell, wag, blah, blah. How you guys doing, man? You guys all right? Sorry. I had the door open for a couple hours and now there are all these bugs flew in here. And that's what happens. That's what happens. I will be, yeah. just so you know, J just I will remember. Be quite a bit. <laughs> just, just seek just refuge. If one lands in your drink, you know what to do. Dunk that <laughs> sucker. It's a scientific miracle. Oh, it has to be it has to be a specific type of uh type of one of them bugs, though. It's supposed to be oh, a yeah. fly, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean the same reasoning would apply, wouldn't mm. it? I mean, he didn't say that, but mm. you know, so you're you're just committing bitter right now. That's innovation. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's any bug. Any bug has the, the <laughs> disease and the cure for the disease. Right. There you go. There you go. Well, it only makes uh, sense because otherwise the disease would make the bug sick, and the bug's not sick, so mm -hmm. it must so have it must the have the cure. The cure. I think that that is a that's perfect with our topic today because you know Ali Dava would say that that would probably is complete nonsense. I mean, I, I would really love to ask him about certain specific things that Muhammad said, and to see if he would say that's that's complete nonsense. That's nonsense. Would he say that about certain things that Muhammad says? What do you guys think? Muhammad's not. Wrong yeah, well, I think that. Right. Uh, he yeah, I mean, I, I think that he, he couldn't say that, right? Because he has to affirm its truth. But what he would say is something like, well, we don't know what it means when Muhammad mm. said to dunk the fly because one wing has the disease and the other the cure. That could mean anything. We just have no idea. I'm not qualified to tell you the meaning of those words. So <laughs> it, it would be wrong of me to impose science on it. Right, right, right. That's tough. Well, here we are, guys. Um, we have... Uh, um, we have a, a little over 150 people in here so far in the beginning. So make sure you guys are hitting that like button. Go ahead and 434 that like button and make sure that the, uh, we're hitting the algorithm. We really appreciate you guys sharing the video and sharing the stream. Invite your Muslim friends if you guys know. We already got a super chat from Omar who says, Dr. Dizzle, Shake Logic, and Thaddeus, it's Christmas in July. There you go. <laughs> My name is Maximus Swagamus. <laughs> Not Dr. Get it right. Diesel. Get it right. Get it right. It's Maximus Swagamus. All right. So listen, ladies and gentlemen, you guys know what's been hot. Um, Ali Dawa has come out and has said that it's not just him, but his peers as well all know this. This is like a known fact amongst us that the scientific argument, this miracle, this scientific miracle argument within the Quran is nonsense and Muslims should stop using it. It's it's a bad argument. It's a bad method. It's It's been, quote unquote, debunked. It's been debunked. So over the years, we've had Zakir Naik, Ahmed Dot. we've had all these people come and it's been a main source of dawah, one of the main sources, by saying how scientifically accurate the Quran is. So if Ali Dawah is saying that this is false, that it's been debunked, that it's a bad argument, and that Allahu Alam, Allah knows best on these things, you guys as Muslims are invited to prove him wrong and prove us that the Quran is actually a scientific book, that it makes scientific accuracies, that it doesn't get any of it wrong, that it really does talk about the Big Bang, that it really does talk about what happens in embryology, that it really does uh, talk about how the mountains stop the earth from shaking and things of this nature and how the earth was created before the heavens. Come and prove Ali Dawa wrong. All right. So here's the link. Here it is right here. Here's the link. And moderators, if you guys can share this link throughout the stream. This is for the Muslims, not for the believers. So it's for the Muslims to come on up. All right. So last week, last week, what did we deal with, guys? What What's some, some stuff that they brought up? If I, the, yeah, the, my memory. the same things they heard from Zucker Nike and never <laughs> once bothered to examine critically because somehow they get conditioned to just accept whatever their Dawa leaders have said, even though 
their Dawa leaders, their Dawa champions keep getting exposed as liars, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, guys, once you catch someone, once you catch someone like obviously lying, <laughs> what he says from then on should be under investigation. If he was joking, that's one thing. If keep in mind, I'm not just saying, you know, if someone gets something wrong, people can get things wrong. Every human being gets things wrong. If someone was obviously lying to his followers mm -hmm. to score cheap Dawa points and you find him, uh, are, why would you then believe the next thing he says? And so that's the real question here. Everyone who said perfect preservation right down to the letter was either lying or completely ignorant. Mm -hmm. Either lying or completely ignorant. It was one of the two. Either way, whether someone was lying or completely ignorant, shouldn't be listening to that person uh, until, if he was lying, there would need to be some uh, confession and repentance, all that sort of thing. If he was ignorant, he would have to show that, you know, he's since done quite a bit of research and now he knows more, something like that. But it's just amazing in the world of Dawa. It's like the Dawa, the Dawa guys lie. The community, the Ummah believes whatever they said. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, a few years later, the, the lie is exposed. And oops, we lied about that. We were completely wrong. That was all bogus. But then the lie will persist in that community for many years to come. <laughs> and then and then the, the Dawa guys will tell a new lie. And then that yeah. lie will get exposed, but the community will go on by and large believing it. And then they'll tell a, the Dawa guys will give up that lie and then tell a new lie. And for some reason, you could you can build a career out of not just out of lying, but out of lying and getting caught and then coming up with a new lie because no one will ever hold you accountable for your lies in that community. Right. It's, it's, right. it's, it's, it's an embarrassment. Oh, you're exposing his lies. You're causing division, brother. Stop. It's weird. It's tough. All right. So we already have some people back here, guys, to bring up. Um, <clears throat> we have a, a new guest who popped up yesterday. He actually has some homework to do, <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll see if he did anything. Now, listen, guys, um, I, I, as I said, this is only for the Christians, or not, not for the Christians, the Muslims to come up. Now, you guys coming up in the back chat, you guys clicking the link, it prevents the other Muslims that would be able to come because I can only have 10 of us in like all together here. So that's why I'm asking Christians, do not click the link because you're taking up space that could be used for a Muslim. All right. So please do not click the link, brothers. I love you and everything like that. You guys can join me on the next stream where we tackle these disbelievers. But, uh, you know, I need you. I need the room for the Muslims. All right. All right. So now and let's go by, ahead by, and bring up. By the way, look, just a little yeah. side note. I mean. There are, there are all kinds of people who will be approaching us in an angry fashion right now. But I mean, think about right. So I, I don't know. I don't know who's coming. They may be the nicest people in the world. I know lots of people get enraged when we expose a lie that they were told. Mm. And notice how generous we're being. Zucker Nike told a bunch of lies based on another guy who lied, based on another guy who lied. And they all just mm. spread the lie. Yeah. Then the lie gets exposed, not just by us. We've been telling them for 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 years that it's a lie. Then their guy, their guys, their guys finally admit, yeah, 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 it was all a lie. It was all it's it's been debunked. It was all a lie. <laughs> and then we say, yeah, he's right. Good. We're glad you're finally admitting it. And guys get mad at us. Like, yeah. what did we do? We the, yeah. we're the ones who told you the truth when they were lying. <laughs> Why are you mad at us? How are you not mad at them? How are you mm -hmm. not mad at yourselves for just buying anything that comes along and just believe yeah. gullibly believing anything that comes along? And notice, even after all that, even after people get mad at us, then what do we do? We say, hey, if you're if you're Dawa guy, if if Ali Dawa and um and Hamza Tsortsis, if these guys are wrong and it hasn't been debunked, we're going to give you our platforms to come show us that, that, that they're wrong and that right. science has indeed confirmed the correct. Like, how right, generous right. could we possibly be? We don't yeah. know what these guys are going to bring up. <laughs> we're, we're letting them do Dawa live on Christian channels. That's right. <laughs> and people are mad at us for being mean. Like, I, like, I don't know how we could be any more generous. I don't know, man. It's so no, no, Hold on. Let's, Dawa, let's get Dawa what he just so said. Weird. He literally just said, we after after such a blow to Islamic Dawah, we are giving the platform to Muslims to fix this big mistake that Ali Dawah supposedly, like you guys have the platform, thousands of people are going to see this. 
so you guys can correct it. You have the platform. Here you are. So really, are we the Islamophobes or or I, I don't think we are. I don't think we're the haters. We can't be. You know, we're we're trying to help y'all out, man. Yeah, let, let, let me let me guess. Everything is eventually going to get down to um. There's a scientific miracle here, but it only works in Arabic. Uh, take our word for it. <laughs> it always comes down to that. Don't forget the top here. I'll trust me, bro. All right, so we have our first guest up here, and uh, welcome to the stage, Salam Al Masi, my friend. Yeah, uh, hello. How are you guys doing? <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. So you have uh, you're like just numbers. You accidentally clicked the thing. So you got numbers. What can we uh what can we call you? Uh I guess just uh cool guy or something. Cool guy? Yeah, it's for something random. I just thought of it. Sure. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna prove <laughs> a specific uh, cool scientific idea. miracle. All right. Go ahead, give us your best shot, brother. Uh so basically I forgot the specific <laughs> number, uh um, but there's a miracle in the Quran in uh, Surah Yasin uh, that mentions the orbit of the uh, celestial bodies. And in the specific verse, in the specific verse that uh, it mentions it, the letters itself, um, like let's say, for example, the first letter is also the last letter and uh, the middle letter. L let me just link it. Give me one second, bro. No problem. Yeah, this I linked a, it. It's hard to explain. This bro. is an Arabic miracle? Yeah, but like it's specifically explained, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> An Arabic miracle. I love it. Yeah, man. Hey guys in the chat, come on, support this guy, man. He's up here. Muslims that's in the chat. Go ahead and give a like on this video for a cool guy, man. He's gonna he's gonna shut this down easily. First first time. First first time comer, shutting it down. Ain't that right, cool guy? You're gonna cook today. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <clears throat> so you got the first letter that's like the middle letter and the last letter, you know. Yeah, and it also mentions orbits too, so yeah. And orbits of the celestial. Yeah, you guys can debunk it if you want to, but yeah. Why would we want to do that? I mean, if you guys don't find it true, I'd say I mean, put a link it seems to pretty true to me. Private chat. <laughs> oh, we're going to watch a video. And yeah. just the, yeah. the title says Linguistic and we can it's only a minute and a half so we could just watch it um it's called linguistic miracle of the quran stunning example of palindrome and so a palindrome is a word or set of words that reads the same forward and backwards um, i'm not exactly sure why that would be a miracle a uh, human being can yeah so so uh, because it was, uh, yeah. google <laughs> yeah um a, a, a man a plan a canal panama Read it backwards. It says, a man, a plan, a canal, Panama. <laughs> Miracle. There, there's there's one guy, <laughs> there's one guy who wrote like a 90,000 word palindrome as a book. It didn't make it didn't make much sense, but <laughs> he wrote in like a 90,000 word palindrome. So not not a bunch of palindromes. I mean the entire book says the same thing either way you read it. Powerful, powerful stuff. That's good stuff. Wow. <clears throat> so what you think about that, cool guy? Uh, yeah, let's watch the video, I guess. Watch it's like a short. Yeah, it's a minute and a half. We could entertain it, I suppose. Update. Okay. It. Anybody wants to share their screen, I'll, I'll put it up. Yeah, I can do it. All I right. already pulled it up, so. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this is going to this is gonna debunk it all right here. All right here. Mm. Don't worry, Saleh, you're next, bro. You're next. You're next. Have faith in your Muslim brother here. Oh, but by the by the way, so this is a this is a this is not a scientific Correct. miracle. This is a linguistic miracle. Well, yeah, but it's also scientific in a way because it mentions orbits in a time when it wasn't like that popular, I guess. No, everyone thought there were orbits back then. Everything they thought the or, the uh, all, all the uh, all the heavenly bodies orbited the earth. Well, it mentions the Earth itself. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but yeah, let's go. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll watch it. And look, we'll look at, we'll watch it and look it up. We'll watch it and look it up. Look at this ayah. The shams yam baghi laha adudrika al qamar, wa la layu sabiq al nahar, wa kullun fi falakin asbahun. 
Allah Azza wa Jalla speaks of all heavenly bodies. Each of them in their own assigned space, they are floating, swimming, rotating. What's he speaking about? Bodies in space, planets, stars, right? Galaxies. He's speaking about all of them doing what? Rotating. Spell out the first words, kullun fi falak. What's the first letter in kullun fi falak? What's the last letter? What's the first letter? What's the second, last, and second? What's the third, last, and third? You notice something? What are they rotating around? <laughs> what, what, what letter are they rotating around? <laughs> the word he used for rotating, yasbahoon, yeah. Subhanallah. How do human beings come up with that? Right. Allah Azza wa speaks, and this is not written form. This is not written word. This is spoken word. Allah Azza wa Jal gave this Quran to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so he would recite it unto the people. So he would recite it as a word. We are baffled even the way it's spelled. <laughs> even the way it's written. But it was baffling, mind-boggling, stunning. Really stunning in its perfected form. <laughs> okay. And so there wow. is our, our, our goal, apparently. Uh, that was the, great. I, I'm pretty sure, I, you know, I, I don't know precisely how many Arabic words could be used as a synonym here, but I'm guessing it's probably like two or three. And mm -hmm. one of them is a palindrome, and that somehow makes it very special, I guess. You're not convinced? No, as far as the actual... No. As far as the actual verse goes, what did it say that, that the bodies of water were doing? Or I mean the body, uh, I may have accidentally given away, but the, what the planetary bodies, things that are in space are doing, they are swimming. Do you know why an author of the 7th century might have described the planetary bodies as swimming? That's, that's to you, cool guy. That's to you, cool guy. Uh, because, well, it could also be like a metaphor, I guess. Well, it could be. But do you know why that? Oh, I'll take that as a no. Like you don't know why. So it was a common no, belief. No, I know what you're going to say, though. You're going to say like something about Sumerian myths or something, but I don't think it's that. No, no, I wasn't going to say that at all. I was just going to say it was a common belief at the time that outer space was filled with water. Yeah, and that's also a Sumer so, uh, Sumerian myth, right? Well, it's it, it, common, that. right? Right. It, I'm not saying that it's borrowed from that. It's a common belief of many peoples. So the Samaritans may have believed that. I don't know their beliefs off the top of my head. But it was a very common belief. So when the author says that they're swimming through space, he means that they're like sea creatures going through water. And indeed, one of the myths... Uh, surrounding the Quran. Now, th this is not in the Quran, sort of. <laughs> uh, but one of the myths is that the, the earth is carried on the back of a whale. And thus, the whale is swimming around, carrying the earth. And I said it's not in the Quran, but it kind of is because they came up with, you know how the so three little letters at the start of every, uh, not every, but many of the surahs, and no one knows what they mean. Well, supposedly the letter noon is the name of the whale that is carrying the earth. Now, you guys mind if I switch topics? Is I don't think this is actually a good one, but okay. That's okay, yeah. You can bring whatever you feel is best and, you know, is, is clear that proves that the Quran is scientifically miraculous. You can bring whatever no, actually, you, you need. Yeah, okay. Uh, so... Uh, so is it okay instead of this, like, uh, like, can I use like a verse from the Bible instead? Or is that fine or not? Like, it's not like besides science, like, like the Trinity or something. No, because this this particular subject today, my friend, is proving that Ali Dawa was wrong when he said that the scientific miracles of the Quran have been debunked. Do you do you agree with him that they've been debunked? Well, yeah, most of them, I guess, because some of them are exaggerated, but uh, there's still mm -hmm. some stuff that wouldn't be known, I guess. So would, do you think that, let me ask you this, just to be fair to maybe see where your position is. Do you think that it's good to, um, if you're giving dawah and sharing Islam, 
to say to use as a method saying that the Quran is a scientifically accurate miraculous book. I mean, it's a book of science, not a book of science. So it's like not specifically. That, that's a bar right there. So you would say that that's not true, not necessarily a good method to use or an honest one. I mean, uh, no, I guess. I appreciate that. But, yeah, but we're we're not. And, and by the way, we agree with you. And what you just said is is very similar to what people like uh, Hamza. Uh, Hamza Tsortsis are saying that, I mean, he, he says that it's a book of signs, not a book of science. And so notice we, we agree. <laughs> we, we're, we're not saying, ah, shame on Hamza Tsortsis and shame on Ali Dawa for coming out and, and saying these things. We're actually agreeing with them. And we, we, res we actually respect them more when they're saying, mm -hmm. okay, this, this uh, argument that we used to believe in because it was spread by various people We've actually taken a closer look at it. We don't think it's a good argument. We need to stop stop using it. We can yeah. we totally we totally respect we totally respect that position. Um, so this isn't a ha in your face. It's more in your you know it's more of an in your face to people who are lying about it. Like guys, now you've been exposed. Now take your medicine, uh, confess, admit that you are you are making things up, things like that. But as far as people who aren't using this argument, we we have no problem. <laughs> we have no problem with that. We we agree. We agree that there were there were some problems, and um, this is something that everyone goes through. Everyone everyone believes an argument at some point, and then later on, you think it's a bad argument. So there's no there's no there's no shame in this, except for the people who were lying about it and the people who didn't bother to check it out while it was being uh, while it was being exposed. But um, yeah. yeah, so that's that's the general problem here. So notice, I mean, this this is a situation where. We believe Ali Dawa was right. That is weird to say, but we, it's, right. a weird, it's a weird situation where we actually agree with Ali Dawa. But there are Muslims who are saying, no, he's wrong. It hasn't been debunked and trying to defend it. So, right. yeah, that, that's the purpose of this. We're just trying to give anyone an opportunity who disagrees with Ali Dawa to show something that we must we're missing here. Mm -hmm. I think there's something that's worth mentioning, too, here. We have Al uh, Masihi, who is a fellow brother of ours, Arabic speaking. Uh, he's ex-Muslim as well. And he says... Um, Yas Bahuna means floating. Video didn't even include that word that actually says floating. So the word that actually says floating wasn't even included in the video, according to our brother here. So yeah, that's no, interesting. I, I'm looking. So this is referring to Surah 36, verse 40. By the way, this is one of the, I mean, these are, this is one of the passages we go to, to show that there are actually problems here because, mm. um, I mean, the verse says, uh, it is not for the sun to overtake the moon, nor does the night uh, outstrip the day. They they float each in an orbit. But um, in, in context, it's it's the moon, the sun and the moon are chasing each other in their orbits, but one can't catch up to the one can't catch the other. And so it, that's not what's actually happening. The sun and moon are not chasing each other around, but not able to catch up to each other. So this is a passage we bring we bring up. It's not one of the main ones, but it, it is one. But yeah, I'm looking at the translations. They all say either float or swims. So Pichthal, mm. they float. They float in an orbit. Yusuf Ali, each just swims along in its own orbit. Hilali Khan, they all float each in an orbit. Shakir and all float on in a sphere. All of them, uh, Sher Ali, all of them float smoothly in an orbit. Um, Khalifa floating in its own orbit, uh, swimming in a sky. Arbery floats in its sky. Palmer. Um, and so, yeah, everyone's going with floats or swims. Nice. Now, we have something here, interestingly enough, and that is, do you, do you mind getting one of our clips that, uh, that have Ali Dawa's video? Because we have a Muslim here who says uh, Ali Dawa never said that. Oh, we can watch the entire, oh. but we can watch the entire <laughs> Ali Dawa video. <laughs> no you problem, no problem. Can. I got, I got that clip ready to go. Just give me one second. Yeah. So he thinks that we're up here lying up here. Uh, so I just want to make sure that everyone knows who those who have been under a rock, not been online and been away from their phones for the past month or so. Uh, that we're not lying here. We're not lying. So we're going to play the clip for you and show you exactly what the man himself, peace be upon him, Ali Dawa says. All right. So uh, we're going to get that for you really and, quick. And, and, and by the way, Avery, there, there's a reason that Muslims are saying, no, Ali Dawa never said that because there are Muslims who are circulating the claim 
that when we say, hey, Ali Dawa said it's been debunked, even though he said it over and over and over again, they're circulating things saying, no, Allah, Ali Dawa never said it's been debunked. It's like, <laughs> uh, how many how many times does he have to say something before? <laughs> <clears throat> right, right. We, we have to actually message him like, hey, Ali Dawa, you said it like 10 times in a row. Could you say it another <laughs> thousand? Because well, yeah, just, gonna... just, just a few more thousands, man, because they think that you didn't say it. We think they're lying. All right, let's go, Thaddeus. Thanks. All right, yeah, we got a, a, a minute clip here. But a lot of people were very insecure because of the scientific, you know, um, discoveries or whatever it may be. And we was trying to fit the scientific narrative into the Quran, which was a big mistake because it's as if as good as we were making science the um, the guideline for the Quran to be accepted. This is nonsense. Yeah, we take the Quran, not science. To hell with science. Science changes tomorrow, today. <laughs> They talk about the Big Bang. Now there's new uh, studies or whatever, new findings that there was no Big Bang. So my point is what? You cannot come and say this, this verse here is a scientific miracle, is a scientific fact. Why? Not because the Quran is wrong, because science changes, number one. Number two, who told you that verse in the Quran is talking about what you're ascribing to it? Simple as that. So that's why I'll repeat it one more time for my fans, those Islam folks. The scientific argument, scientific miracles in the Quran is debunked. And we as Muslims, guess what? It doesn't bother us to the least. Well, it doesn't bother him, <laughs> that, but apparently it bothers some other people. <laughs> so he, he clarified people. it there. Yeah, he said it there uh, towards the end. But earlier in that, in the longer, in the fuller video, he said repeatedly, it's been debunked, it's been debunked, it's been debunked. Um, and guys, it's important to understand why uh, me and AP went through Hamza Tsortsis's video where he actually breaks it down uh, and expands. I mean, he goes into a little more detail than Ali Dawa. Uh, well, he goes into a lot more detail than Ali Dawa did, but he basically <clears throat> lays out what it, what would be required to even claim something as a scientific miracle or as miraculous scientific knowledge that was unknown by Muhammad at the time. Uh, one, you'd one they'd have to say you'd have to say that the science is settled that science actually knows something and this is one of their objections but i think it's the i think it's one of the weakest they're just they act you know they say ah science changes all the time to hell with science blah 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 science is always changing no science does tend to hone down on certain things and you still got to figure out the details and so on but uh, so in other words we know quite a bit about the universe. We know quite mm -hmm. a lot about biology and so on. It's, it's not yeah. like uh, it's not like we're going to find out tomorrow, you know, that that um, that uh, semen isn't involved in reproduction or something like that. We 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 have a pretty good idea about things like that. Uh, but what they're pointing out is that you you'd have to know that science is accurate on something before you start clinging to it. As, as Hamza Sorsis started pointing out, what if you were in the 19th century trying to point out scientific miracles in the Quran? Well, mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of scientific theories in the 19th century have now been discredited and other theories are in their place. So what happens if you actually were clinging to those theories and saying you found those in the Quran, the Quran would turn out to be wrong. So the, so that's one point. Two, they're saying you have to know what the Quran is actually saying, because a lot of these arguments go, oh, here are 37 different things this word can mean. Let's go with the one that conforms to a, a scientific theory. Let's ignore the verses that come before it, ignore the verses that come after it, and say, hey, there's no way Muhammad could have known this thing. How do you know that that interpretation is right? Unless you have Muhammad or his companions or something explaining what it means, you you don't get to just say, this is what it means. And, and Ali Dawa gave an example, like what if, what, you know, he was saying there are seven ozone layers but notice he was interpreting the Quran's claim that the, there are seven heavens as seven ozone layers. There, yeah. there, there aren't. But uh, but he but his the point he was making is valid as of as of him criticizing that perspective. The Quran says seven heavens. Why are you saying that means seven ozone layers or something like right. that? Where is the Quran saying that? No, right. you're putting that into the Quran in order to try pretty, pretty miserably to bring that in line with modern science. So you've got that. And then on top of it all, if Muhammad happened to get something right, you'd also have to show that it wasn't known or said before Muhammad. So it wasn't known by the Greeks or the Romans or anyone else that uh, that the Muslims might have come into contact with. And what they're saying, what Hamza Tzortz is saying, he's not saying the Quran is, is, uh, is wrong on science or can't be trusted. He's just saying in order to even defend the idea of a scientific miracle, you'd have to show, one, that it's actually some sort of settled science. Two, that that is the meaning that the Quran, it doesn't mean anything else. It means that. And three, you'd have to say Muhammad 
couldn't have known this beforehand because people didn't know it before before his time. And they're saying, guys, we just don't have anything that meets those three criteria. We don't. There's yeah. nothing that meets those criteria in the Quran. So you can still believe in the Quran for other reasons. They're just saying you can't defend an actual scientific uh, miracle here. And, I love and, it. and we, we can respect that. Yeah, we can respect that. So uh, DJ says, God bless the original Quran, only Christians. <laughs> Shout out, DJ. And then we also got a super sticker from De Leon. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate the support. Um, all right. So uh, we're going to bring someone else up who can probably help out a uh, cool guy a little bit and bring some more spice to the panel. Now, Saleh, when you come up, bring that good fiery energy. And we want your best argument for a scientific miracle in the Quran. Come on up, man. The show's yours. Yo, can you guys hear me? We can hear you just fine. All right, yep. well, five, seven, step aside, bro. I'll handle them, bro. Don't worry. I'll handle all three of them. Just step aside, bro. I got this. That's where the <laughs> chest. That's where the chest thumping. Chest so, thumping comes so in. So first of all, I, listen, listen, just calm down. So first of all, I want to talk about Hosea eleven. Uh, nine. Hosea, no. No. Hosea eleven. No. Nine. No. Do, no. Do you know what your play fallacy is? Dude, you're running like your father when you bash him with a hammer, dude. You're, you're running fast. Come on. Hey, wow. Oh, they started. They start. Did we start with insults? <laughs> no, that's not. not an insult, dude. That's a fact. No, 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 no. No, you, you said you said you said he was running and so on. That's false. That's just insults. You brought it up. So when I call your prophet a child molesting, murdering rapist, you're not going to complain because you started, right? Let's just talk about. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, you cut him off. I was ready for an insult battle. See, guys, I don't start it. I just, I just roll with it. Yep. But you know, uh, he he was a kid that was here uh, yesterday, and uh, he's supposed to bring me the verses that says that Abraham is the word of Allah, and uh, so he's had about. Don't what? can I Wait, what? can I can I finish without you cutting me off laughing? All oh, right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Got to be serious. Thank you. Thank you. So, yes. Hey, wait, wait. He... Is this going to be in a footnote? <laughs> <laughs> it says right here. The, here's it. Here it is right here. This footnote. Here. <laughs> he's supposed to bring me the verse, and he's. It's been. It's been 24 hours. That's the. That's the last. I did not allow him to say another word on my stream until he brought me the verse. Mm. So that's what he's supposed to bring me, not anything else. So and then, and then notice, notice, we give him the opportunity. We give him the opportunity to defend the scientific miracles. He instantly changes the subject multiple instantly. times. Instantly, instantly changes the subject. Now, guys, isn't this it? But people who are watching, do not miss stuff like this. When someone says, I have this airtight knockdown argument for my position, and you go, oh, Okay, let's take a close look at it. And you go, No, let's talk about this other thing. It's like, mm. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you really don't believe you have any sort of good argument for for that position, do you? And now, yeah. if if so, if, if if he if he agrees with Ali Dawa that the argument has been debunked, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't I don't know why you'd want to come in here and distract from people who might actually want to defend the scientific exactly. miracles of the Quran. So how about this? How about this, Saleh? I'm willing to give you one last chance. This is what I'm willing to do. I'm giving you one last chance. Uh, there's people. Hold on. There's people that's trying to come up. They might be Muslims. So Arabian Crusader, you're a Christian in the backstage that's holding up a spot for a that could be a Muslim. I don't know if the guy's a Muslim or not. So please, uh, I love you, brother. Just but watch the stream from the from YouTube, and so I can save room for uh, the people here. All right. So uh, yeah, just watch the stream from YouTube. Okay. All right, and then Jay Blake, Jay Blake, can you tell me if you're a Muslim or not, please? Let me know because if you are not, then please. Do not sit in the back. Okay, you are Muslim. Beautiful. All right, cool. All right, so um, all right, so this is what we're going to do. Saleh, I'm willing to give you one, one last chance. This is what you have to do. One, you have to admit that you don't verbally, that you don't have the verse that says that Abraham is the word of Allah. That's one. And then two, actually forget the insults. Stay away from all that stuff. We're not on that right now. We are you. on. Oh, no, your shit, your, your show, your show. <laughs> I mean, I it, it, uh, okay, we, if, if we just let the blows blow, we can let the blows blow. All right, but bring an argument for either you, uh, you agree with Ali Dawa that scientific miracles in the Quran have been debunked, and so we won't press you on that. Or if you think he, if you disagree with him, tell us why. Okay, so number one, admit that you do not have the verse that says Abraham is the word of Allah. And then two, tell us if you agree with Ali Dawa or not and why. Okay, so here you go. 
If you do not do that, you're out of here. Yeah, hello, can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. So number yeah. one. So I did pull up what you were talking about yesterday about the word of God, and I was not able to find that. Um, it might still be there, but I couldn't find it. Okay, so we couldn't find the verse about Abraham being the word of Allah. Thank you for admitting that and being yeah. honest. Now, do you agree with Ali Dawa that the scientific miracles have been debunked in the Quran? He said that? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't agree. You of, course play I don't agree of course I don't would agree you, with that. Of course I don't agree Would you like to see the clip? Yeah, well, let's see the clip. All right, let's see the clip. You want me to play the same one or you want me to play a different one? Uh, uh, you, can play the, you can play the same one. Okay. Play the same one. It's funny that you have different ones because he said it so many times. <laughs> yeah. Let's go ahead and show this. Ali Dawa, man. Christian apologist. Oh, it's muted, uh, Thaddeus. Oh. Uh, my bad. I probably forgot to check the little box because you got to do it every time. Mm. Remember, when Thaddeus is here, it's amateur hour. <laughs> yep, rookie. Yep. For sure, rookie, and he lost his movie See, voice. Rookie, rookie, sens rookie sensation, rookie yeah. sensation, Thaddeus. <laughs> Abdi said, Why are we entertaining this clown? Man, yep, yo, Abdi so needs I, I to quiet down, bro. He's a Muslim, that's what I'm saying, but he needs to be quiet, though. Oh, I, I have it ready. All right, oh, oh, my bad, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Was a lot of people very yeah. insecure because of the scientific, you know, um, discoveries or whatever it may be, and we was trying to fit the scientific narrative into the Quran, which was a big mistake because it's as if as good as we were making science the uh, the guideline for the Quran to be accepted. This is nonsense. Yeah, we take the Quran, not science. To hell with science. Science changes tomorrow, today. They talk about the Big Bang. Now there's new uh, studies or whatever, new findings that there was no Big Bang. So my point is what? You cannot come and say this word, this verse here is a scientific miracle, is a scientific fact. Why? Not because the Quran is wrong, because science changes number one. Number two, who told you that verse in the Quran is talking about what you're ascribing to it? Simple as that. So that's why I repeat it one more time for my fans, those Islamic folks. The scientific argument, scientific miracles in the Quran is debunked. <gasps> and this, guess what? It doesn't bother us to the least. <laughs> it doesn't bother us to the least. And again, this is uh this I mean, he he had already said it in one video, and he said that he came one of one of the reasons he came to Islam was because of the scientific miracles, and then he he realized he in his words it was absolute nonsense, but he said mm -hmm. he stayed on continued to be a Muslim for, for other reasons. Um, he said it in that in that video that the argument has been debunked. And then a, he got a bunch of requests from Muslims. Could you clarify what you mean? Because the Islamophobes think that you're saying the argument has been debunked, mainly because that's exactly what he said. Uh, so they asked him to clarify it. And then he posted another video where he said over and over again that the argument has been debunked. And again, this is this goes back. I mean, it was 10 years ago when Hamza Sortsis pu published his paper uh, explaining why Muslims need to stop using that argument and why it's been debunked and why they don't have anything in the Quran that actually meets those criteria to qualify as a scientific miracle. Ali Dawa just just basically he's saying that Dais across the board understand this. That's why they don't use the scientific miracles anymore. But uh, but he's basically the one who's now popularizing what Hamza said. And good mm. good on him for for having the integrity to do that. Yep, good stuff. All right, so Saleh, there you go. Um, and Abdi, what do you guys think? Um, I would say, Abdi, you want to go first? Or you want me to go first, my son? All right, I guess I'll go first. So um, watching that clip, um, two things are in mind. Number one, um, like if a homosexuality is a good example, right? So why do we believe homosexuality is wrong? We could go into a bunch of secular arguments. You could say, oh, this disease is this or this. But in reality, the number one thing is God said it. That's the number one thing. That's point blank period. That's the first thing you go to. You don't go through all these secular arguments. And I think that's what I was trying to say here. He's saying that not necessarily that all the arguments are wrong, but that God said it is enough. Like you don't need to go in all these secular arguments of this is the embryo and this is that. And that proves the Quran. When in reality, it's faith first. I think that's what his point is. So, 
Well, that's not that, what he's that's saying. He's, part of his point. That's kind of off topic, though. But uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a small part of his his point that we believe the Quran above science. Uh, but he's also saying that you're misreading the Quran when you Im import science into it. Yeah, and and to be to be fair to anyone who still thinks there are interesting scientific things or something in the Quran, Ali Dawa does find it. Uh, he says there are things that you could be amazed at, like the Quran saying that there's you know things get darker the deeper you go in the ocean or something like that. So he says that there are amazing things like that. But he's saying as far as an argument, the argument doesn't doesn't work. And again, he doesn't he he kind of spells it out a little bit saying, you know, science can change. So why are you going to appeal to science when, you know, a hundred years from now, the scientific theory might be different. And two, unless you have Muhammad or someone else explaining what this Quran verse means, how are you saying things like the heavens refers to layers of the earth's atmosphere or something like that? Where are you getting it from? It looks like you're you're putting it in there. So he is saying that it, it's he's saying again, he's saying two things. He's saying one Yes, you can be amazed when the scientific, uh, when when the Quran gets something, you know, says something interesting, but you can't use it as uh, an argument because the the arguments just aren't aren't going to work. And so, wait, wait, uh, but hold on, hold on, Alvin, let me see if you're consistent on that. So you know the Book of Revelation, right? Um, a lot of Bap a lot of Baptists make claims about like Israel is this, this is the temple where this will happen. This person is the Antichrist, supposed Antichrist. They make a lot of claims about what Revelation is saying and what is right, like prophecy, etc. Right. So, are you saying that all of that is in the same sense that it's just <clears throat> speculation in the way that the scientific miracles are just speculation? You would, you would, uh, uh, uh you would have to actually make a good solid case and until until you as a i'm talking if i'm talking to a christian until the christian makes a case for why this clearly means something i'm not going to agree with the argument in other words same 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 principle bible or quran show me that you are you are understanding that verse correctly and that this is the fulfillment of it or i'm not going to believe the argument all right that's fair this is a little too smooth, too easy. Where's the, where's the yeah, hate? Where's the? See, see, Avery always wants the drama, and when people yeah. just come along and have a calm conversation, he starts getting a little. Uh, oh, yeah, we need to. We need spice. <laughs> right, I, he, wants, he wants. He wants. He wants pit bulls fighting in here. We need clashes, man. We need clashes. All right. So listen. Um, I got a question. So, uh, somebody asks, how many scientifically false statements? does the Quran need to make for you guys as Muslims to reject Islam? Um, well, like Ali Dawa said, science is constantly changing. So it's not necessarily one thing that could be true and then it's not true. But if you could prove without a shadow of a doubt a scientific fact, then I think just one, right? I mean, one. So if we, can prove, if we can prove without a, sh without a shadow of a doubt that one of the statements that the Quran makes it's actually it is actually false um then that would be enough for you to leave Islam yeah well I think that that's a fair I would ask uh, the same you would ask the same thing all we need is one false thing from the Quran and you guys would leave Islam so one is the answer that's one not true. false thing that's just not true okay so Abdi has a different Whoa, a different take. Bro, this guy's a clown. This guy right here, he's a clown. He's not a Muslim. Wait, ask me a question. Bro, you're not a Muslim. Shut up. What do you, no, what do you know about Islam, boy? Let me, get, let me teach you Islam. Let me teach you Islam. Everyone's sack fearing every other. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm Sheikh Uthman, you're the student. I'm Uthman, right. you're the student. So, 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 uh, D David Wood, David Wood has a history of, of being an, of being a, a deceptive liar. Um, look, Ali Dawood is not saying that the scientific miracles have been debunked. He's just saying that we should use it as a primary source of evidence. Okay? You're repeating my argument. You're just repeating everything. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just confused. How is it that David Wood is the one deceptive? <laughs> we just, he, he has played, made the, so many we just videos played the man's the clip year. that said it's been debunked. Yeah, so notice the people who say I'm being deceptive are the people who just watched a clip, and I mean person, uh, 
are the ones who just watched a clip of Ali Dawa, who said it multiple times, to be clear. In his, in, he said it over a course of two videos, and he said it a bunch of times in his second videos. Debunked, 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 debunked. And we say, hey, Ali Dawa says the argument's been debunked. They say, liar, liar. He's not saying that. And what's amazing is Ali Dawa is saying that based on Hamza Tsortsis laying out his case in, in, uh, in an essay form and in, in video form explaining why there's nothing in the Quran that would qualify as a scientific miracle because one, you'd no. have to show the science is settled. That, that's, that's exactly what he said. No, Guys, that's I don't just know. not true. And he didn't say he debunked, no. right? He didn't say debunked, right? So, Abdi, when he says Abdi, debunked, let, let me help you out here, Abdi. Debunked, uh, are you when trying he says to say? Debunked, he knows that you Christians are going to clip that and be like, oh, guys, look, I so he's in no, so Ali Dawa no, was intentionally bro, helping that's Christians. That's what he said. That's literally what he said. He said it was debunk, bro. He's no, he did not. He doesn't play mean 5D it's chess, actually bro. debunked. Dawa's playing five D chess right now. No, he doesn't mean it's actually debunked. He knew that you so, Christians were going to clip that. Like, Abdi, can I help you out? He said it like twenty times. Can I help you out, Abdi? No, he said it's debunked, but he said not in total right after. You guys are forgetting that. I know. You guys are clipping out the most important. Uh, I, said, I just, I just, I literally just said what he actually means by not totally debunked. Because he said absolute nonsense as well in his original clip. When he says not in total, he gives an example. He says there are things that we can be amazed at in the Quran, like, oh my goodness, darkness in the ocean. Like how could how could how could someone have known that? So even if we grant that, he's still saying to use that as an argument. And if you go back to Hamza Sorza, in, in order to use that as an argument, you'd have to show that the science is settled. I'm not. I don't think anyone's going to question the science on whether it actually gets darker as you you know the deeper you go into the ocean. But two, you'd have to say, uh, the, is that what the Quran is claiming there? Because you can look at different translations, and some of them sound like it's just talking about darkness in a dark storm or something like that. Like you can't see in front of you in a dark storm on the water. Uh, but even if you grant that, then three would be. Can you claim that no one knew that before and that there's no way to know that? So he's saying it's something you can look at as a Muslim and say, wow, it's amazing that, you know, the Quran says this. Can you use this as an argument for a, for for miraculous scientific knowledge? No, because you'd have to actually show in this case, you'd have to show that that couldn't be known. And anyone who's ever jumped in the water and swam down 10 feet would know that. So he's saying, no, yeah, you're you, forgetting. Can, you can be amazed. No, no, no. If you, you're forgetting my goodness, the Quran. Guys, if you're saying that so, Ali Dawa uh, did not say the, the argument has been debunked, when he said debunked, 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 I don't know how I can take you seriously on anything no, okay. after that. You haven't because watched words a single don't Ali Dawa video. You haven't watched a single uh, Ali Dawa video. I, I have guy, watched the, the whole video. The guy is dramatic. He is dramatic in nature. Bro, you're coping okay. hard So when right he now. says debunked, he doesn't necessarily <laughs> mean debunked. He's just... He's just basically so saying everyone when he <laughs> says debunk, he doesn't mean debunked. He means the Abdi, opposite. Abdi can, you, you don't know Ali Dawa. Down for a minute, you can I ask you a question by what you think Ali Dawa actually means? Video. Bro, you're an Ali Dawa super fan. You're doing jumping jabs and gymnastics. To the bro, fact shut the that hell up. You're a clown. You're a, bro, bro, how many rockets are in Al-Fatiha? How many rockets are in Al-Fatiha? Go ahead. Go ahead. You are a clown. How many rockets in Al-Fatiha? Go ahead. You have no idea what you're talking about. You have no idea what you're talking about. My son, listen. Don't listen. ask me any questions. My you son, are not a Muslim. My son, you sit down. I'm the teacher. You are, are not a Muslim. I'm the you are a clown. No, no, no. You are sit Ali Dawa fan. You're not a Muslim. If Ali Dawa became Christian, you become Christian, dude. You just follow Ali Dawa into the pumpkin patch holding your hand. Dude. You don't know Ali Dawa, bro. <laughs> Okay. There's just no you Muslim. are an internet Muslim, bro. You never been into dude, a mosque. Dude, who who is that? 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 Who is you don't know what you're talking about. Just sit down, okay? You're a kid. Be you're quiet. You're copying what I'm saying, so but that's great. No, you're I'm not. I'm not even Let's copying go. anything of what you're saying. You don't know what you're talking about. No, you don't know what you're talking about. He said debunk five million times, and you're like, oh well, uh, does you that are really mean troll. debunk? Does you that really mean debunk? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> All right, I love it. I love it. I love dude, it. Why are you guys fighting each other? Dude, you're worse because than him, dude. I don't know why you even invited this troll. He is a troll. We all know he's a troll. Bro, he said debunk five million times, and you sat here in the call for five minutes. Like, uh, is that really debunk? You haven't watched a single Ali Dawa video. You haven't watched a single Ali Dawa video. How many Ali Dawa videos do I need to read or watch? How many? 
Yeah. Ali Dawa what is, is known quota? to be... What is my Ali Dawa quota, bro? Ali Dawa is known to be dramatic. He doesn't mean what he says. Okay, you don't know what you're so talking about. Why are we about. watching the clip? No, he does why mean what he says. He said debunk, dude. No, he's, he's saying, saying he did not say what he's debunk. saying... What he's saying is the Quran is the standard, not science. Science is not the standard. The Quran is the standard. So... We have yeah, to. Yeah, that's what he means. If actually, science he, does not, if science it, does it not agree with the Quran, then f science. Okay, that's what he's saying. But he's saying more than that. He's saying you can't even use these as arguments to defend uh, Islam. Yeah, because the Quran is the standard. That's why. No, no, no. But it's farther than that. You're trying to frame it as like, oh, the Quran is the ultimate standard. I agree. But you're, but he's taking a step further. He's saying you no, can't. You even don't use agree. That. You're not even a Muslim. You're a troll. You don't agree anything. Be quiet. Is that all you have? You're not willing to engage. No, I'm not willing to. You're not engaging You're a troll. in good faith. You, you are a troll. You literally came in here insulting David Wood. You are a troll. You just spent five minutes. You are a the, troll. Uh, be Dawa, quiet. Bro. All you have is Ali Dawa. What do you have? No, be quiet. Seriously, be quiet. You're no, a troll. No, you be quiet. No, you be you quiet. Are Can you recite right. the Quran? Can you recite right, the Quran? All right, fellas. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's round one is over. All right. So I had to let y'all get it off your chest a little bit. So... Let's get back to the nitty gritty now. So, so uh, Abdi, tell us what again is, is your understanding from what Ali Dawa is saying? He's just saying that the Quran is the standard, right? Science is not the standard, so we shouldn't be bending over to science and affirming the Quran through science. We should be affirming science through the Quran. Okay, and so, so you you believe that uh, Ali Dawa believes that there are scientific factual statements found in the Quran, but that we just shouldn't judge or make or base the Islam off of these facts that we find in the Quran and these statements? Absolutely, there are scientific facts in the Quran. Okay. But well, science has yet not discovered those facts. Okay. And so if we try to compare modern science with the Quran, we're going to find complications. Mm -hmm. Got you. Science of the gaps argument. I like that. So, so do you have a what, do you have an example that you like to lean to, that uh, is a scientific fact uh, that we could find in the Quran? Most scientific miracles in the Quran um, can be proven with modern science because modern science is not there yet. Maybe in so some time in the future that we'll be a, able to. Absolutely. How do you know that it's a scientific miracle if you can't prove it scientifically? Because it's it's stated in the Quran, it talks about certain phenomena. You can and you give us a phenomenon that you think science will eventually discover? In in, in other words, in other words, we're thinking uh, we're trying to think of examples of something the Quran is saying that would seem to be at odds with science, but that like would could possibly at some point, you know, centuries from now, be confirmed. Like you know, the sun sets in a muddy pool. Like maybe scientists will find that out or something. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the, that that mountains are are that stabilize the Earth. Okay, Mount, mountains stabilize the Earth. They they keep the Earth from shaking, and this is something we will find we will find out later on. Absolutely. Any uh any 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 comments? Well, I mean that's interesting because Muslims sometimes claim that that's a current scientific miracle that science has already supposedly discovered that. I'm glad that you're not trying to distort the science, unlike some Muslims. So I'll give you that. Uh, I will I I will agree that that is a phenomenon that could potentially be discovered. So you did meet <laughs> your own criteria, uh, but obviously you can't use it as evidence, right? Because you're just assuming that science will eventually come to it. So do you have anything that we can use as, as evidence today? Well, I, I want to, I wanted to ask him before we get there. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah. Just really quick, just on this one. Like we, we know that the, because the verse says that the, the, uh, the, the mountains are placed on the earth to keep it from shaking. Right. That's what the verse says. Um, keep, keep, keep in, keep in mind this, this also occurred in in the original six days of creation so mm. you had mm -hmm. mountains mm -hmm. on earth to stabilize it um within the original six days of creation and so the earth was there uh within six days and so this is something that will have to eventually be confirmed by science yeah david 
Can I ask you a question? Is, is it about this topic? Uh, well, kind of. It's, uh, it's about Genesis, like the creation. Um, it's not about this topic. Yeah, we're not. We're no, not no, in there. And, 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 and our 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 ideas would our ideas about scripture and revelation and uh, signs and so on are going to be different. And so, if if someone is if someone is saying, "Hey, look at this miraculous scientific knowledge in Genesis," total totally right there would be okay. Let's see how this uh, lines up with modern science and so on. But uh, if someone is using a different argument or we're evaluating a different argument. Um, then that argument, I mean, guys, think, think about this. We're saying, hey, is Ali Dawa right or wrong? If he's right, then good. We can, everyone should acknowledge it. <clears throat> we, can all, we can all move on. If he's wrong, then we want to give people an opportunity to show that he's wrong. Yeah. And so far we've seen uh, a palindrome and we've seen mountains used in verses, which definitely you could say, hey, maybe in the future they'll find something that actually lines up. But what we know now does not, it does not line up. The Quran does not line up. And so what you say is it's a potential scientific <laughs> miracle if some future scientific discovery confirms it. But as of right now, does not look like it lines up with uh, with the science of our time. So we're still just looking. And, we're still just looking for the miracle. You're not a and, yeah, quickly, real quickly, real quickly, real quickly. I just want to point out how unlikely that would be to be discovered because we do know what forms mountains. And it's tectonic activity, which is exactly, exactly. the same thing that causes earthquakes. Exactly. So for a mountain to be formed in the kind of reaction that causes earthquakes and then also prevent earthquakes seems highly improbable to me. It would be a contradiction, too. Yeah, but David Wood, do you hold the Bible to the same standard? Uh, uh, the, this, the, the Bible, yeah, one, does. one, the Bible is irrelevant. Two, the Bible is a different kind of, there's a different concept of, revelation the the quran is supposedly dictated to muhammad and then you guys are i mean muslims at least for the past few uh few decades have used scientific miracles as the proof um right. th that's not i mean let me put it this way when luke sat down to write the gospel of luke he was not dictated to we believe he was guided by the holy spirit as far as the information that is in his head that god wanted him to preserve but it wouldn't make any it wouldn't make any sense to for for a Christian to say, you know, Luke is going to sit down and write E equals MC squared. How would Luke know that E equals MC squared? How would he even know that? So uh, you, you, may, you may find Christians who are who who do use this and they could go ahead and defend it. I'm not defending scientific miracles and we have a different concept of uh, of revelations. Um, I'm looking. Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking at. Uh, sort of 60, uh, 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 can I say all, something? What, just once, just one second, because I just wanted to address the the mountains. Um, I'm looking at the different the the, the translations. Pickthall sixteen, sir sixteen, verse fifteen, and he has cast into the earth firm hills that quake not with you. M. H. Shakir, and he has cast he has cast great mountains into the earth. Um, and Arbery, he has cast on the earth firm mountains, lest it shake. Palmer, and he has cast firm mountains on the earth, lest it move with you. Uh, Rodwell, and he has thrown firm mountains on the earth. So here, it doesn't sound like mountains are these things that are being formed from, you know, uh, uh, plate tectonics and so on. It looks like it looks like Allah is saying, hey, we need to throw these mountains down there as pegs to, to sort of stabilize the earth from shaking. But so anyway, the point is, yes, maybe you could find out at some point in the future that mountains are, you know, were, were thrown down, but doesn't look like it's. So anyway, the, the point was, we, we agree that right as of right now, this wouldn't be a scientific miracle, but potentially if some future discovery could confirm this, then it would be. But yeah, so I think. I think, the, I think the problem is hi by the way hi everyone uh, hi. I think I think the problem is everyone speaking over each other and I mean Ali Dawa and and all of the Christians who have who have taken his words and have tried to say oh look Islam has been debunked yes from the clip I will admit I that. Um, pardon I me say Islam has been debunked uh, well that's the that's a direction uh, that you want to pull uh, this whole conversation. Well, well no, that, that, that's not correct at all. Uh, 
the, none well, of us would say that. None of us would say that. So before you straw man, let, let me explain no, our actual position. Man, because our I'm trying to show position. you guys are straw manning. Uh, allow me to finish, Tedious, please. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I'm just trying to straw man us. Go ahead. It's fine. You're very rude. I am trying I'm to very, say... I'm very rude for trying to help you're you You're very out. rude. Okay. I'm just okay. trying to show that... Uh, How old are you? Yeah, that, that is. Let the man finish, man. Come on, go ahead. I'm I just trying to say... And then I let him talk. Can you put yourself on mute? I'm just trying to say that what Ali Dawa said is correct. That whatever scientific miracles that Muslims have tried to derive from the Quran somehow, some way, have been debunked. Mm -hmm. So that is a point that Muslims have to admit. That if no. Ali Dawa was saying that, we have to admit that. So, But what Ali Dawa was saying is that he is putting the Quran above everything, just as Christians put the Bible above everything. So, for example, if something is proved to be incorrectly interpreted by past Christians, the Christians of the future will say, well, those Christians did not understand this element within the within biblical understanding. So therefore, this new interpretation is actually making the matter more clear. I think this is the direction that Ali Dawa was trying to uh, prove his point by saying... And we, we agree. Hold on, please. Uh, and, and what I'm trying to say is that now, could there be elements in the Quran that could... Um, potentially be true in the future. For example, I know last time when you guys had this, you guys spoke about embryology. And I think David tried to show that the Quran is showing that the bones are created, then the flesh comes. The word thumma is used there. But the word thumma in Arabic also means simultaneous. It doesn't necessarily mean then. So, what I'm trying to say is that I think I think last time you guys had this conversation, one of the brothers was trying to say that um, the Quran is not trying to say that, you know, that the baby is formed mm -hmm. uh, and this and and then after a certain period, this after a certain period, this after a certain period, this. Just gives you a general understanding of how um, a human being is created in the womb. Because f for the general public, 99.99% .99 of the general public don't think about these things. But when these things are brought in a biblical, in, in, in a holy scripture, it's canonized. People go back to these things. For example, Jesus. Um, okay, so before you, before you try to second. go to the Bible, yes, hold on, hold yeah, on. I, I let you speak for a no, long time. I'm speaking to you. One second. What I want to say is, for example, in the Bible, did Jesus go to the, uh, was he ascended? You know, we see in Acts where Paul testifies to this. Okay, so this has nothing to do with this has nothing to do with this. Not rambling. Not rambling. Not rambling. I'm not trying to yeah, my friend. That, like, you're, I don't know. I don't know what Jesus's ascension has to do with. No, I just want to say that Paul was not a, a witness, but he he that, got a revelation. He, he didn't write the Book of Acts either, so. Fine, but well, what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is that the ascension of Jesus is primarily witnessed by Paul. No, no that's not, not that's remotely not accurate. Account, that that is not remotely accurate or remotely on subject. So yeah. how what? about you let me speak now, and I, I tell you what I, I could have told you before we you even insisted on on going on your rant. Everything you said, we agree with. Ali Dawa is saying that this is a bad argument that shouldn't be used. He's not saying this proves Islam false. None of us are saying that it proves Islam. So what's false. the point? So what's the problem then? So what are you guys? Why, why are you even having this uh, this uh, this chat room? Because we're, we're, we're trying to tell you. Muslims disagree with Ali Dawa. Exactly. We right? have Muslims. You have look, bro. You have Muslims who literally say that Ali Dawa is misguided on this subject. That he's uh, wrong about this. And we literally had Muslims come they up. They probably misunderstood him. Let, let me finish. They had we had Muslims come up even last week because you you said that you saw a bit of last week. The whole they thing. Were, they were prove okay, good. So they were they were literally proving the other case that the Quran is a scientific does have scientific miracles within it. So you have Muslims that disagree, and this is the platform for 
for those Muslims to come and, and show us if Ali Dawah was right or wrong. So your name is Sheikh Logic? Sorry, That's what correct. was your name, sir? Yes. Sheikh, uh, what I'm trying to say is that the gentleman passed in, last week said that the embryology, the embryological process that's mentioned in the Quran is not a scientific uh, exposition. It's not. It's never yeah, meant right. for that. However, however, what the process is mentioned in the Quran is correct, and the word thumma means simultaneous. Okay. Also, it does not necessarily yeah, okay. mean one after yeah. the other. Again, yeah, let, let me again. let me go. Ahead. Let me go. Ahead. Yes, I'd like to speak oh. to David. Okay, yeah, let me let me let me address let me address that real quick. If you're just gonna say if you're just gonna say thuma means simultaneous, then you don't have to also mean it can also mean okay. So it says in in that verse, so in Surah 22, verse 5, it says thuma thuma thuma. So it's it's giving you a it's giving you a sequence, and all of a sudden you're gonna say, Oh, here, even though it means then, 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 because you need that for the sequence of embryological development. All of a sudden, here thumma means something different, even though it was then, then, then. Oh, simultaneous. No, just, this is what we're talking. This is what we're talking. No, no, notice, 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 notice. No, no, notice. Even if we agreed with you, even if we agreed with you, that is a perfect example of what we're saying. So, even if we toss out the hadith where Muhammad actually gives a time frame and it's forty days is this, forty days of that, and so on. Even if we ignore that, we just go with the Quran. It's thumma, 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 and you need thumma to mean then. In order to have the sequence for for part of it, and then you're going to say thumma means simultaneous when this is what Ali Dawa was trying wrong. to say. This is what Ali Dawa was trying to say in that video that you just posted. I, I, we agree with him. I, I I I agree with him. I I think if I were naturally reading this, I would interpret it as sequence. But if you're saying, hey, thumma can mean something else here, I would say okay. But, but I'm just using my Arabic can't. knowledge to say that thumma can also mean simultaneously. And this is That's this is the point you made last week, David. You said you said that the bones and the meat are uh, and the flesh are created at the same time. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Those those are those are forming at the same time. So notice what we're, notice what we're saying because you you and I are on. The, I think we're on the same page here. I think we are. That's yeah, what I want to talk yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if if my point is, I mean, you can obviously uh, interpret the Quran, and there are obviously Quran, words in the Quran that can be. Uh, interpreted in different ways, and correct. some 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 passages you can you can interpret in a scientifically correct way. What we're saying is, and and we agree with Ali Dawa on this. We agree with uh, Hamza Tsortsis on this. It sounds like we agree with you on this. To say that this is miraculous scientific knowledge, you'd have to say that this is. So in other words, you'd have to say Thuma here definitely means this. And it's not. You can say, well, Correct. I don't think it's wrong, or I don't think Correct. you guys can prove that it's wrong. But to say that it's miraculous knowledge, we'd have to we'd have to be able to show what Allah definitely means there. David, I think I think, I think the biggest mistake that Muslims made was to was to think, oh, there are scientific miracles in the Quran, and then some, you know, illogical Muslims took this idea and ran with it without even themselves having any comprehension of science or even understanding the sciences of the Quran itself, and then ran with it. And then for the lay people, they basically laid it down, and that's how things were basically, um, you know, uh, spread. So I think I think whoever came up with this idea, you once spoke with uh, Sheikh Uthman, and on his table, you found this book. And then you showed him this book, and then you said, look, there are errors in this book. And something Uthman said to you, which I really respect him for, he said, I never read this book. I brought this book. It was published by someone, and I've just put it there, but I didn't publish it. And and I think that was that was the um, – it shows a scholar, scholarship of Sheikh Uthman that what? he doesn't just preach anything that <laughs> that, uh, the, that Muslims say randomly. Because he said to you, I didn't read this book. Because you were trying to show that this book had errors in it. And I think even um, uh, Christian Prince has showed many errors from that booklet of scientific miracles. And I think, I think at, at the end of the day, you guys are correct for, uh, for, for basically jumping on this. And I think that going back, I think the biggest mistake Muslims have made is to, is to basically canonize something without even understanding how science evolves, how the scientific method evolves, how scientific apparatuses evolve. Pardon me? Yeah, and and let, let, me, let, me, let, let me let me go ahead, because uh, I, I think, uh, by the way, what's your name? So uh, how do I address you? I can address you by the number or? Uh, my name is Ahmed. Okay, Ahmed. Um, 
And and what what I agree with you that people are sort of uh, you know they were they were fed this and then the population picks it up and they think that there are these scientific miracles, and I I actually it's a weird it's feel it feels weird to be saying we we're agreeing with Ali Dawa and Hamza Sorsis after doing nothing but you know arguing with the Dawa guys for for a long period. But I actually think they're doing further damage because if you look at the point of some of these verses, a lot of the points of the verses are something that theists in general or Christians or Jews could actually agree with if they weren't trying to, you know, make a scientific yes, miracle about it. So I agree Surah, with you. Surah 22, verse 5, it's saying, hey, guys. If you doubt the resurrection, you don't think that God could do a resurrection. Think about how you're formed in the womb, right? It's saying, "Hey, look, I mean, you don't you don't know how amazing this exactly. is that 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 God does this in the womb. Why would you doubt the resurrection when think about all the amazing stuff that's happening, you know, in your body when you have a baby? So, yes. God can God can make a God can make you so that you produce babies, but you don't believe that God could could raise someone from the dead? That's the point. I could look at that yes, point and say, mind, I could look at, I could look at that and say that is a good point but instead you it, it's it's like they're sidetracking people from the legitimate point by by making everyone argue about whether there's a scientific miracle there sectarianism has destroyed islam sectarianism has basically ripped christianity apart same thing with judaism and these are all religions that have had great prophets sent to them and they have seen uh you know uh, they have been privy to, to, to certain knowledge that was not generally uh, known to people. And they basically spread a lot of this stuff. For example, Paul. Muslims don't respect Paul. But I personally, reading uh, and understanding Paul, I have, I, I have come to know that, you know, uh, as much as, uh, you know, he, he's not looked upon greatly in Islam, but when you look at the logic and the way he set up Christianity and the way, and the way, you know, the church was set up and the way he wanted certain things done. I mean, you have to admit the man was a genius. No. Like, no. Okay, fine. That, that, you, you can disagree. No. I'm going to tell you my perspective. And if you disagree, brother, that's not a problem. And I'm not a Christian. So don't try to say that I'm some Muslim who, uh, pretending to be uh, some guy pretending to be Muslim. No. So we have to look at the logic that Paul has set up. Now, when you look at Islamic uh, empires, the way their 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 systems were set up, you can actually say, say, wait a minute, this you can find it this in in the writings of Paul. So what I'm trying to say is exactly the same thing as David. I think I think we have so much more in common, so much more. But the fact that we want to up one one another and like just one up, you know, one another and and try to kick each other down, I think that's where we are. We are slowly crumbling, uh, and 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 right now society is it, is facing a direction that's so uh, bizarre and dark, all because the light that has that is on earth. People are just trying to, um, you know, um, say, "Well, look, Islam is better than Christianity." How could Islam be better than Christianity when God says in the Quran that what is in the Quran it is with the Christians? What is with in the Quran is with the Jews. So this means that Muhammad didn't bring anything new. Muhammad actually brought something that has been attested in the Old and the New Testament. That's right. That's why we call ourselves original Quran only Christians. That's right, Ahmed. Yes, sir. Anyways, so, long story short. Can I ask long you, story. Are you, do you follow the Quran alone? Well, uh, I've studied the Quran. I have a, I have a degree in Islamic law. And, and and I've tried to, you know, understand the different sects within Islam, the different uh, points of views within Islam. Like, for example, I'll give you an example of sectarianism within Islam. You have a group called uh, the Ahmadiyya. Yeah. And, and, and these people say that Jesus did not die on the cross and that Jesus was taken down and that, you know, he migrated towards India. Now, many Muslims in the modern age and I'm talking 19th century for, uh, forward, have concluded that, wait a minute, Jesus was given a natural death. Meaning from the same Quran that two Muslims view, one they say that he, res he ascended into heaven, and then another group that can read the same book and say, no, he migrated or he died a natural death. And this is reading the same book, the exact same book. But when I read the Quran, when I read the Quran, 
I see clearly there is an ascension. According to the Quran, Jesus ascended into the heavens. It's clear. It's, it's, it's there. But when someone brings you a different argument with a different spin on it, and they say, well, look, this verse says this, therefore he could not have gone into the heavens. He must have died a natural death. And of course, as, an, uh, as a person who is an erudite, I'm like, mm, okay, I can see that. So this is where I see where you guys uh, are, are disagreeing with Muslims. And, and, and I agree with you, David, where you say that, um, you know, if, if the Quran is saying, like, if God created you out of nothing and these are the processes that he used, what do you think? He can resurrect you? And I think that's a beautiful argument. Anyways, I don't want to take too much of your time. I have, I, I just wanted to say my few words, and I didn't mean to be disrespectful towards you, Thaddeus. Anyways, uh, no, no problem, no problem. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, no, that, I don't know. Thaddeus isn't made of glass, so yeah, 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 free, yeah. No problem. For free feel forgiveness. Free yeah. Believe, me, believe me, people do far worse on, on my show. Um, I was just <laughs> going to say, if you if you're not familiar with with what Avery does, what God Logic does. You should definitely watch more of his shows because he is very much about this respectful dialogue of, about elevating the things, if you will, and, and getting away from just insulting one another or, as you put it, one-upping up, one up in one another. So I definitely encourage you to watch more of his programs um, if you're not already familiar with that because that's what he's about. And I would say that you're welcome to call into my show as well anytime. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, David, you. for the chat. Thanks, Ahmed. All right. Well, that was nice. Um, it's it sounded like oh, I, I didn't I I didn't get my answer if he was Quran al alone, but it sound it it sounded like he kind of was. I don't want to assume anything though. Uh, but it, it sounded like he was Quran alone when he was said he talked talked about sectarians and things of this nature and stuff like that. But very, I would love to have him on again and see see where where his mind is at. Um, so it sounds like he agrees with a lot of, of what we're saying, David and Thaddeus, uh, yep. from a reasonable position, too, it sounds Yeah, like. yeah. I mean, the, there wasn't much he said that I would disagree with, so. And and I wanted to, I wanted to, uh, because we no, we normally don't make this, we normally don't make this point, um, because we're we're normally in, like, conflict mode. We're arguing, so we're, so people are trying to, to prove a point. But mm -hmm. there is a lot, for, 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 for you Christians out there, there's lots of natural theology in the Quran, meaning that the, the Quran very often is saying, look at that over there. How is that not amazing to you? Look at that over there. How is that not amazing to you? Um, so lots of this, lots of these things are uh, things that Christians could agree with. Um, but yeah, there is this, there is this tendency to, ah, it says this. And even though the Quran, the point that the Quran is making <clears throat> is something about how you should be in awe of God's creation, Mm. They'll try to insert some, you know, some argument that there's no way anyone could have known this and it's a miracle. And this is why you should believe the Quran and reject. And it kind of it kind of it, it one, it can it can it can ruin it. But two, it it very frequently completely distracts from the main point. I mean, we got into a discussion last week. This is what we just talked about. But last week, there's this whole discussion about whether Surah 22, verse five contains uh, amazing scientific knowledge. Mm -hmm. going through it 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 doesn't but we, we notice we completely ignored the point that the verse was actually making the point the verse is actually making is challenging why people would dismiss the concept of resurrections like yeah you, you just dismiss it as an impossibility i mean because notice that that's a point you could apply to to if you were having a discussion with atheists today and like ah that's silly stuff about the resurrection like do you not realize how much amazing stuff is going on right now? Like if you're talking right, to atheists, right. wait, you believe a universe could just, you know, blow <laughs> up and form, but you have a problem with the idea of God raising the dead. It's like, right. So anyway, right. yeah, I, I, I agree completely with, uh, with what Ahmed was saying there. Awesome. All right. So awesome. let's get a couple of super chats in here, guys. Um, and we have some more guests up here. Rain is back for round two. So we're going to see how, how this goes. Um, so we have a super chat from uh, control yourself. Thank you so much for their, your generosity says let's recap they lied about scientific miracles perfect preservation the age of aisha muhammad being piety <laughs> the bible uh being a religion of peace etc cetera, etc cetera. so what else did they lie about see notice All these right. things keep popping up that they lied about Let Hold on, hold on. I'm not, bro. We're in a, we in a low key intermission. I got to read these out. You can respond 
uh, when we get to you. All right. I'll, I'll get to you. I'll let you shine. No worries. OK, so thank you so much for that. Control yourself. And Paul says, I liked Ahmed. So, yeah, he said, uh, I agree with Ahmed. They took the scientific miracles and ran with it. The layman just blindly follow and re and repeat it. Now they have to clean up the mess. Absolutely. And that's what we see going on here. Also, guys, ladies and gentlemen, we have over 700 folks in this stream watching us live. And we only have 367 likes. Now, you guys know how we get down in here. 434, that like button. Go ahead and hit it. Hit that like button. Smash it. You guys know how we do, man. Come on. If you guys love how the Muslims are doing, if you guys liked, liked Ahmed, uh, can you can you can you guys stop smirking over there, please? I'm I'm trying to be real serious here. 434 that like button and smash it, man. Thank you. We're already at 400 now. Come on, let's get the likes up to 700 so that we can engage with our new guests up here. All right. So Rayan, you are on. What's up, bro? Hello, guys. Uh, hope I'm not like late, uh, like unlike last time. Uh, so I do disagree with Ali Dawa, first of all. I do kind of think he refutes himself at the end when he brought mm. up that uh, stupid layers of the darkness miracle. <laughs> <laughs> anyways. Uh, Wait, anyways. You're, you're a Muslim, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just have to make sure. <laughs> We're just have to make sure. Okay, hold on. Before you continue, let me just read this out. This is the last one, okay? No problem. All right. Uh, it says, uh, so Marius, he says, God Logic, I just started watching your channel. Great stuff, brother. It's 3 30. I'm assuming AM in the UK, but got to watch it all. <laughs> May our Lord bless you. Bless you all. Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 14. Man, God bless you, man. And uh, please, I mean, it, it's recorded, so you can watch it later too. So, but I understand, man. We got good content up here, man. We got so uh, Maximus Swagamus and Thaddeus and Shake Logic, man. You can't resist. I know. I know how. It hey, is. you know what? It's you know what? It's weird because because uh, uh, last week there was lots of arguing. So I was thinking like Gladiator Arena. So I would call myself <laughs> Maximus Swagamus. <laughs> and I get here, and we're all like we're all like agreeing on everything. Right. So anyway, we're all friends here. here. I'm gonna change my name. <laughs> all right. So go ahead, Rand. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, no problem. So one of I, my, I am uh, saying it right, right? Your name? I'm saying it right. right. Ryan, Ryan, it's yeah, Ryan. Yeah, it my bad, yeah. bro. You, you could correct me. This, please. No, I don't want to do it. All right, right, go ahead. Anyways, uh, one of my favorite ones that I would like to see, like, well, what are the responses you guys make mm -hmm. is, I'm sure you've heard of this one because I think it's quite a common one, where uh, I think it's in chapter 96, verse 15, I think it was, where it says uh, about the <laughs> forehead on the lying part. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm just curious to see what your response is because, like, look, Ali Dawa's points were two things. One, that uh, science changes, which, I mean, that that's quite, like, he compares theories to, like, sorry, he compares theories to, like, objective, like, scientific facts. And then the first one, that the Quran's not clear. And I think, uh, personally, Quran, the, this miracle uh, doesn't, go, doesn't go under the criteria of both of them. It's clear and uh, it's objectively true, I would say. You're you're saying that this is an example of something that is objectively true. Uh, that the Quran in, is getting this right. Yeah, as in like the something in front of the head is, is uh, in control of being sinful and stuff. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. You're being you're being nice. So I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. You can uh, you can talk however you want. I don't really mind. I don't care. Okay, that's fine. So uh, yeah, I would just say let let's read let's read these let's read these verses. Well, l l let me read multiple translations and then I'll state what the what the claim is, and you can add anything you want to that so people understand what the claim is. Um, no so it's it's Surah ninety six verses fifteen to sixteen. Um, and uh, talking about one of Muhammad's enemies and Allah's warning that he's going to uh, seize him by the normal translation is forelock. So, um, nay, so I'll, I'll read the pickthall of these two verses. Um, nay, but if he cease not, we will seize him by the forelock, the lying sinful forelock. So you've got forelock there and then saying that it's lying and, and sinful. Uh, but let me just give the translations here. Uh, so pickthall. Seize him by the forelock, Yusuf Ali, drag him by the forelock, Hilali Khan, catch him by the forelock, Shakir, smite his forehead. That's the closest you get to what is used um, 
in the arguments of the Dawa guys who use this as a scientific miracle. Sher Ali sees and drag him by the forelock. Uh, Khalifa, we will take him by the forelock. Arbery, we shall seize him by the forelock. Palmer, drag him by the forelock. Rodwell, we shall seize him by the forelock. Uh, Sale, we will drag him by the forelock. And then after it says all these things, it says the lying sinful forelock. So it's, it's common language of the time that if you are controlling someone, if you're going to dominate someone, you grab him by his forelock to show him that you have complete control over him. Uh, but then the next verse says lying sinful forelock. And then so the, the argument that uh, is used for 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 dawa purposes is when it you know what what sense does it make to say lying in sinful forelock what sense does that make so this might this must actually be referring to the front portion of the brain which is the area where you're you know making decisions about whether to lie or something like that so uh did you, did you want to add anything to that ryan yeah, uh, one thing I would like to add. So, like the word uh, forelock there in Arabic, all that refers to is something in front of the head. So, again, like most translation does say forelock, which is the hair in front of the head, but in, ge in general, it can refer to anything that's in front of the head. That's all I would, uh, I'll, that's all I would like to add. Um, okay, so let, let me let me ask a question here. No problem. So, I will quote Sunan on the side. <laughs> And I can give you a, a matter of fact, I can quote a bunch of them. Um, Sunan Anasai 3572. It was narrated that Jarir said, I saw the messenger of Allah twisting the forelock of a horse with his two fingers and saying, goodness is tied to the forelocks of horses until the day of resurrection. So he's he's physically twisting the forelock of a horse and saying, goodness is tied to the forelocks of horses until the day of resurrection. W would you interpret that as having something to do with the brain? Because I, in other words, I would read the Quran. I would read the Quran the exact same way if it, that it's talking about grabbing someone by the forelock. It says grab him and drag him. If you're saying it it's referring to front part of the brain, then he's grabbing him and dragging him by the front part of the of the brain, which I, I think you could, in, in a sense, say that. You know, if, if Allah is like grabbing him, someone in like a spiritual sense and making him do what he wants or something like that. But you have a you have a bunch of passages talking about uh, the forelocks, even of animals, and talking about there can be goodness and so on in the the forelock. So you, what I'm asking is, do you think all these passages about forelocks of horses and so on and goodness in the forelocks of the horses that this is talking about the horse's brain, or is this just actually the forelock of the the horse? Uh, what's the hadith again? I uh, just want to see. Oh, it. there's there's a there's a bunch of them. So that was Sunan Anasai 3572. And uh, matter of fact, I mean, well, if you're, I don't know if you're looking that up, but I can quote some more for people who are watching. So Sunan Abadad 2542. Um, the and messenger of a, the messenger of Allah All said, right. "Do not do not cut the forelocks, manes, or tails of the horse, for their tails." are the means of driving flies. Their manes provide them with warmth and blessing is tied to their forelocks. So you've got the, you've got the concept that, that goodness and blessings are tied to having a good forelock. And so when I say, ah, this guy's got an evil forelock, I, I don't know. It, it's the, the way it seems, the way it seems to me is um, the, the way, the way I'm reading all these passages having to do with forelocks is that like someone who's good, you can easily guide him by the forelock like a horse and someone who's bad, you really got to grab him, grab him by his lying sinful forelock because he's going to be, he's going to be resisting what you, what you want. So uh, putting this through sort of the paradigm that, um, that Ali Dawa was sort of loosely presenting, but Hamza Tsortsis was presenting more fully, uh, you, you'd have to say that the science here is settled and, uh, you know, on this issue, I won't dispute the, the science, even though I think you can, because uh, I have I have read that lying is involves multiple parts of the brain because it involves memory, remembering what you're lying about and things like that. So it involves multiple parts of the brain. Uh, so the, the remaining two features would be... Um, one, is this what the Quran is actually saying? And two, is it something that Muhammad 
couldn't have known beforehand. I'll grant that if this is actually talking about the <laughs> the brain being, you know, an area of the brain involving lying. Yeah, I, I'm not familiar with anything that Muhammad could have said. I mean, anyone, anything that anyone said beforehand that would give that indication. So the, the real question would be, is that what the Quran is actually saying? It's saying something about the brain. Um, and uh, I ju I'm just not seeing that when you see this all over the Muslim sources talking about the forelocks and, and so on and grabbing someone by the forelocks and forelock can be good or your forelock can be bad. And that's, that's basically what kind of, what kind of person you are. So anyway, that, that that's my kind of thoughts. So, uh, uh, I will say just two things. Uh, one, I know, I know like there's some other parts of the brain that, uh, relates to making like decisions and stuff, but I know the ma majority and like it's in the front of the head. Uh, and then the second thing, I actually was not aware of that hadith, so I think I might need to study that a bit more because I actually wasn't aware. So I need to like see what scholars say about that. So thanks for bringing that up. I'm just gonna look at it more and then. And yeah. and, and, th and by the way, what what notice what you just did? Perfect. That 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 is exactly the added. That should be the attitude of Christians, of of Muslims, of everyone. Hey, here's something that I got. I read it. I saw someone make a case about this. But now an objection has been brought up to that argument. And instead of making a decision, I'm going to go, I'm going to go look it up. That's, that's, that is yeah. exactly what, that is exactly the appropriate response. Yeah. Because I do think the Quran was quite clear, but now with this hadith, it, I just need to verify, you know, just check mm -hmm. it again. So yeah. Uh, and you, and mm -hmm. just so you know, because, because there are a bunch of them, you could go to a, to a, 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 a hadith source with a, with a search engine. So you could go into like sunnah.com and type in forelock. It's going to give you a bunch of these, a bunch of these kinds of passages in, involving the forelock. All right. Anyways, thanks for the response, guys. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yep. By the right. by, by the way, Avery, I got to go and probably, well, I should be gone already, but uh, I'll, I'll hang on for about five more minutes. Yeah, no problem. And I, I mean, I think that, uh, I think we're pretty much, we've run through everybody. We got one more. Well, by, the, by, by the way, this is why I notice it's actually, good right because yeah the same would apply to christians if some argument that you know millions of christians all believed in suddenly you know some christians stood up and said ha ah, that's all wrong you would have christians who believe in that going ah what how dare he how dare he say that so at first at first there's hostility but all of a sudden it looks like you know there's a lot we can agree on and things have calmed down and so on so this is, actually, this is, this is actually good yeah yeah a lot of reason being used um People, uh, it looks like the the culture of Islam uh, is swaying more and more towards our side. They're starting to like us a lot. What <laughs> what what are the odds of that, guys? They're starting to like us. <laughs> starting yeah. to like us and treat us with some some respect and kindness. This is good. So, all right, we have one more person here uh, that we haven't spoken to yet. How are you doing, my friend? My brother, what's going on? All right, you're a Muslim, right? Yes, I am. Thanks to, thanks to David Wood. I'll, I'll definitely give him a shout out for that. I converted three years ago and David was a big inspiration. I've been watching him for a while. Uh, I know about you. Um, what's your name? Sorry, Sheikh Logic. I know about you because you're from Diego. So I've seen, I seen you floating around sometimes over there. I'm not familiar really? with the... Yeah, I'm not familiar with the middle guy, but I know I've I seen you floating around and David Wood's a legend in the game, man. You know? Sure is. Don't you uh, are you from? Hey, hey, can I take this opportunity to promote my channel? <laughs> sure. go, go ahead, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah. So, so my name is Thaddeus. My channel is Reasoned Answers. I don't have like any strong personal connection to Islam. I just got very interested in the material through through watching David Wood. So he's the inspiration to both of us. And I, I saw that Islam at least in principle, is a history-based religion, just like Christianity, which means you can analyze it from a logical perspective, which is very attractive to me as, as a way to, or, you know, as something to respond to, because most Christian apologetics is focused on atheism. And frankly, atheism tends to be very boring. It's just all the atheist sits up there and they say, whatever standard you bring, I, do, I reject your standard. You don't have any evidence. Therefore, I win, uh, which is very boring. Um, so having conversations with Muslims proved to be a lot more interesting. My channel's exactly. reason to answers. And I have these live call-in shows just like Avery. Yeah. So uh, just real quick before you go, my man. Um, yeah. David, I know you see all the time comments from the Muslim side that say, I'm David because of, I'm, I'm Muslim because of David Wood. I'm, you've seen these comments, right? 
Yeah, it's it's actually more common. No, I don't I don't know. It could, could could be could be totally accurate, but uh you could post a video. And uh, have you guys seen this before where you'll post a video and like uh like there will be like 500 comments that all say this made my iman stronger. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Like there's there, there's no there's no critique of the actual video showing yes. why the video is wrong yes. or anything. It's just this is making my iman stronger. And yes. I, I'll I'll see comments uh I was an atheist before I watched this this video, but now I'm a Muslim. And it's like, wait, there's nothing, there's nothing in the video. There was one criticism. How did, how did one criticism of Islam make you leave I mean, atheism? And I'll even, I'll even say, I showed this to my three friends who were all priests and they all converted after, <laughs> after, after seeing this. And it's like, okay, guys, uh, it, 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 any, it, anything's possible here, but yeah, when I keep seeing right. this as a normal, as a normal means of responding to something, mm -hmm. uh, now, I mean, have you ever have you ever had a conversation with someone who says, uh, you converted, I, I watched you, David Wood, and you converted? Have you ever actually spoken to a person that said that? Is this about to be the first? Uh, it, it, it's 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 possible, but it's, I can't recall any. So yeah, this might this might be the first right now. Well, this might be the first on God Logic Apologetics. So uh I, I'm I'm actually curious, my man. I mean, we yeah. what is it about watching David Wood that uh you converted know, you to Islam? You know. I like David has a friend. I know a lot of people know him. We call him uh, Sam Defoni. You know, he he's kind of the opposite to uh Yeah, Sam Shimon's a David. wild dog. He's a no, dog. No, 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 hold on. We're not about to do that here. No, no. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't want to I didn't want to go too crazy into it, but I'm just saying in terms of um demeanor, I say that David does come off as kind of a, a relaxed type of guy and someone that is um there's some people that go out and just kind of like try to bash you know their their goal is to bash sometimes I, I i watch david and i see a guy you know who you know is is on the search for the truth and someone that's just you know trying to get the facts and yeah you know he ha he has made a couple good points about islam in terms of you know everything these days is a marketing ploy you know and from both sides, true. from from Muslims, that's that's that, that's that that is becoming that is becoming a problem for everyone in the sense right. that now in a, in an online atmosphere, everyone has to compete for attention. Exactly. So and since you're having to compete crazier. for attention, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. So so they're all they're put it this way, there are all sorts of ways to get attention, right? And exactly, you know, and that, that's and that's atten attention is the biggest drug you know you can have, and and I I do find you. Now, someone told me that you ate ate a Quran page before. Um, but I don't know if that was true, and I didn't see it myself. But I, I would. Oh yeah, I would, yeah, if I, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give you the I'll give you the background. Then I have to go. So maybe maybe if you have a, a quick point that I can respond Ooh, to, David's I can. David's running but, from that. That yeah. that situation. <laughs> I assume he's joking. But, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The 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 background of that, which which strangely gets omitted, was mm -hmm. uh, Muhammad Hijab was uh, sending out these uh, veiled threats of rape and torture and uh, towards women and he announced to his followers instead of now going after the uh the critics of islam we're going to go after their wives we're gonna we're gonna go after their their not not physically um but he's he was instructing his followers to you know find these women online and then launch this campaign of harassing them with these threats of uh, rape and torture and so it, in response to that i said if you're going down that road if you were if you were saying, hey, don't address them. Instead, go after their wives. You're not doing that because I will eat your Quran. I will I will start a Quran desecration channel if I need to. But uh, I'm going to stop you from doing that. And so uh, it was if it was it was, uh, hey, if you're going down there. And by the way, I, I stand by. You could give me that opportunity to make that decision. Hey, we're going we're now going to be targeting your wives instead of you. 100 times out of 100 times i will do i will i will do what's necessary to stop I mean, that from happening i mean I, I just i just i disagree with with either either of those things you know i mean oh i, I would too I, I would not nor i would not normally do that it was it was right. i've had i've had for for many for many years i've been aware of surah 6 verse 108 mm -hmm. where um th that's the verse where uh the the polytheists of mecca announced hey if you keep criticizing our our gods and goddesses, then we're going to mock Allah in return. And Allah mm -hmm. says, if they're going to mock your religion in return, then then stop stop with the mockery. And so I've been aware that that is a verse in the Quran, and that if people are going in a certain negative direction, you can always say, hey, if you're going to escalate here, I'm going to escalate against I'm going to escalate against your religion, not because I want to escalate against the religion, but as 
this is something where your God actually commands you to stop that behavior that you're doing. It, your, it, your, it, your God commands you. And so I will, right. I will enforce that on you. And so, so you could, you could, you could disagree with us and so on. I just, that, that is the historical background. So. Got um, it. Yeah. It, it. It goes, it goes both ways. You know, like there, if, if, if we, if our religions were based on um, what people did, then we would all fall sh very short of, you know, totally. the, the, the books and stuff. Um, I know you got to go. So just to uh, kind of, speed it up a little but um in turn i don't know i think muslims and christians like there's always like some we're reading the same thing but it's always like two different views um to 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 what they kind of read um I'll, in terms of ali dawa like uh just to kind of stay on topic even though i'd love to take it a ton of places um you know i think that it was i didn't get the same uh take out of it that you guys did because the way i looked at it was um that he was basically saying that what we're basically talking about is that Muslims now, there's a lot more, um, you know, Dawa people popping up on the scene and everybody's trying to get their name out there. So a lot, everyone's looking for that, that shiny gimmick to kind of, you know, attract people in. I mean, we, undeniably, right. We know Islam is the most grown religion in the world amongst Latinas. I know bro over here, you from San Diego, you know, you know, what's good, you know, and it's, it's all floating around uh, from Latinas to in Japan to, you know, even in, in California right now. So, you know, that doesn't necessarily prove something right or wrong. Um, but I will say that, you know, a lot of people are trying to get that attention. And I think Ali Dawa was trying to say that, hey, like everyone's trying to show these like scientific miracles and people are bending certain verses to try like make it fit in with science. But this is not how we like the Quran is like, that's not how we do it with the Quran. The Quran is is the ultimate word in itself. And that if we try to bend it with science, like you said, sometimes we're we're we're, um, you know, taking verses out of context. And like you said, sometimes adding a little, you know, Tabasco sauce on stuff, too. Um, so, so do you believe that the Quran has scientific facts in it at all? Or Exactly. Or? Yeah. Yeah. So that's my last point is that just because he said that, first of all, Ali Dawa is not the spokesperson for islam you know just as what? sam just as that just as sam shimon is not the spokesperson for you guys right i mean if he yeah, was your spokesperson fair. so it's kind of like you know both ways it, it works i mean what he he's allowed to say his point he's got he's popping he got he got followers he like is he the spokesperson no nah, man listen okay. just in the same in the same way that you go off of the bible you know and, and jesus is teaching if if they slap one cheek you know to give him the other one we go based off of all what the prophet said especially the prophet muhammad peace be upon them all you know so good, it's good, like good 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 so it's like um and i and i and i and i've watched you both by the way i, I know david he he had a debate with um I, the t who's the tall guy from England? I forgot what his name Muhammad is. Muhammad Ajab. Oh, is that who was? The one who said that Allah prays for Muhammad. Oh, yeah, he destroyed David Wood, man. Yeah, he destroyed him by saying that Allah He didn't know the Arabic. He didn't know the Arabic on live TV, bro. That's just crazy. Yeah, that's who crazy. Didn't? I mean, <laughs> who didn't? Wait, 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 wait. Who didn't? <laughs> David Wood, you. You, my son. What did what did what did yeah, I what did yeah, I, yeah, what did I did, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on Pull because I have to go. But what 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 did I get wrong Arabic wise? We can pull it up. We can pull what? up the whole video. What, what did I get wrong? Logic, what did I get pull wrong? Up the video? Oh, Wait, man. What did I get oh, wrong? In you made a specific claim. I don't remember what exactly what it was. Oh, you, you don't even remember the claim. claim. Darn. You made a specific that... claim, and it was because you didn't know the Arabic. That's convenient. It. it was. It was Yusali. It was. It was. It was. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was about. It was about the the word Sali. It was. You were no, saying no, no, that no, because I was saying what. I don't remember exactly. I watched it pretty recently. I'll tell you exact. I'll tell you exactly. It was I something about you saying we prayed to uh, uh, that Allah wrong, prayed to wrong. Muhammad. That was a that no? was a lie. I will I okay. will convert. Okay. I will convert to Islam if you show me saying that in that debate. Here's what's here's what's absolutely amazing, and, uh -huh. and I have to and I have to go with this. Here's what's absolutely amazing. I mm -hmm. said according to the Quran, Surah 3356, Allah prays right. for Muhammad. I said Allah prays for Muhammad. There you go. That's what that's what yeah, I said. I said yeah. And then Muhammad Hijabs stood up and said, uh, he's going to have to give me a free Arabic lesson. I don't know what I'm talking about. And right. he said to the audience, <laughs> David says that Allah prays to Muhammad. It's not to Muhammad. It's for Muhammad. And exactly. then the crowd, the crowd burst into cheers. You're saying exactly what? Uh, did you pay attention? I Idiot, said Allah, I said Allah <laughs> prays for Idiot. Muhammad. If you want to say that's wrong, fine. Say that's wrong. But Muhammad Hijab got up said that I said something I didn't say, then agreed with what I actually said, claimed to refute me, and the entire audience burst into cheers.
And to this <laughs> to this day, Muslims come up to me, ha ha, you said this thing that they didn't hear from me. They they somehow zero in on what Muhammad Hijabs says that I, I wasn't, claimed. I was and then they and then they and then they all and then they all cheer for it. But anyway, the, the, right. the reason that's that's actually an excellent point. Because we're talking, you know, we're talking about attention and we're talking about, uh, you know, people who are who are, uh, you know, sort of rallying around different people and so on. And, and again, mm -hmm. this is for, for anyone who doesn't know, everyone's going to have to deal with this. And it's going to be in, in increasing fashion, because uh, if when people start feeling like they're in danger because there are all these ideas that are coming at them and so on, the tendency is to rally around some hero. And then once you rally right. around some hero, then the tendency is not to question him because that would threaten your membership in the group, which is there to protect you. And so, Honestly, so every, David, I feel like you haven't I, recovered from that debate. You haven't recovered since then. All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> anyway, hey, da David, what? David, before you go, just because I wanted to kind of get one uh, scientific. Oh, wait, wait, wait let, 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 me, let me let me let me let me sure. just let me just finish that point right there. So sure. notice it's think of this. Think of this from a non Muslims perspective. Right. I, I stand up and I say, hey, I have a I have an issue with the theology here, it says that Allah prays for Muhammad. Right. Uh, Allah and his angels pray for Muhammad. Uh -huh. And then the response, haha, David said this, which I didn't say. Uh, he said he was waiting for it, which means he knows that I've been using that criticism. So he knows what I actually said. He said, ah, David said this, something I never said. And then he agrees with what I actually said, which is like his stamp of approval on what I actually said. And then for years, Muslims boast that I've been destroyed. From a non-Muslim's perspective, we're looking at that and going, is this what Dawah actually is? Someone makes something up, uh, right. pretends to respond to it, actually agrees, and you just cheer because no one's actually paying attention to what was actually said. They just pay attention to, ha ha, I refuted him. So well, anyway, so so anyway, the point is the point is we we understand that anyone can anyone can jump into a discussion. Ha ha! I destroyed you. Right. And uh, if, you're what, if you're looking at what if you're what if you're looking at what's actually said. So the point the, the the point is if you're looking at that from a a non-Muslim perspective, you're going that's actually concerning that he could he could literally just say anything he wants right there. But is it vice and versa? And they would David? cheer for him. But well, it's vice versa too, right? I mean, Sam yeah, says he, that, Sam that, Sam said that's Sam true said for everyone. Sam said he got in the room with Dr. Zach and Nike and destroyed him in three minutes and left the room. I mean, it's like everybody, everybody's got their 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 story and everybody, you correct. know. The difference is on video, bro. The difference is it's on video. No, bro, but, 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 but no, but see, I don't know who's talking right now, but you just you're doing too much because it's it's, it's you know, I, I, I would have to look at it more specific. But what I wanted to bring up from that debate just to kind of round it out is that. You've heard Muslims say, you know, that the goal of us talking to Christians should always be come to common terms. Right. You know, you you heard that in the debate. That's what he opened up with in that debate. And any Muslim who's talking from a, you know, a logical side, that's our goal is to come to common terms because we have more in common than we don't. Not okay? with people who eat the Quran, bro. So, Not with people who eat the Quran, who uh, depict the prophet. Uh, I mean, or, I mean, or, 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 say people, or, Quran, people, uh, or people who, uh, or people who uh, say they're Most, going after people's wives. M Muslims have done bad things. Christians have done bad things, brother. My all my friends growing up are Christian. I'm, I'm a, I'm a die like I'm a Muslim till the, like till the end. And it's like I, I respect Christians. Um, I respect Christians you know, too, just not this one. I respect I know. Shaykh I Roger, understand. I, understand. Yes, I, understand. I don't respect David Wood, bro. I understand. No, David Wood changed my no, life in the Avery, way. Avery, so you're I'm, Avery, you're I'm, muted. David Wood changed you, my life you, in the way. Do you so. do you think that Muhammad Hijab was correct when he said that Allah prays for Muhammad? I mean, we can we can talk about that later. Like that, I'd have I'd have to brush up my eyes. Yeah, I have to, skills, I have to go. Know? So if there's any if there's any final my, thing that involves yeah, me, yeah, yeah. No. So my my thing to you is just I want to hear your point on on. Uh, just a very simple scientific miracle about the water, about about the two oceans of water not uh, crossing, you know, like the the salty water and then the regular water and, and mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. a prophet or how or how somebody 1400 years ago could have got could have could have seen that or or, or could have, you know, known that basically. So, what, what, so, so, what do you think so, the, so the question is, how could mm -hmm. a how could someone uh, mm -hmm. 14 centuries ago know that there's there's fresh water over here and there's salt water over here and I can drink they, the fresh and I can drink the fresh water and not the salt water and there's no, a barrier not, in between them. Right. But that's not specific. That's being picky with the words because what it's mostly talking about is the barrier between the two and they do not cross with each other. Right. Yeah. That, yeah. Read, a, read, read your read your commentaries up until this was used as a Dawa argument. It was said that the 
the barrier is land. In other words, they're thinking a lake over here and a sea over here. And there's the where, barrier is, is, where is, is there's land there's land between them. I, I, if I recall correctly, it's Ibn Kathir. You want to look it up real quick? Look no, up Ibn I'm saying, I'm saying uh, from the Ibn Quran. Kathir al and Al-Kartabi all say it. Yeah. So they say that they say that land is the barrier that's being referred to there. If you're saying it's something else, there is no barrier. Well, I mean, have you seen the picture of have you seen the picture of the ocean where where the soul oh, yeah. and I forgot yeah, yeah. where the Right. Yeah. So, so yeah. that, and, that, and that's obviously not land. I, I, yeah, I don't so this, go off of it. Uh, yeah. right. Go ahead. Yeah. So, so let me, yeah, let me, let me break this down. Then I, then I have to bolt, but you guys can talk about this more. Okay. Um, this is a, <laughs> this is actually a perfect example. There's a perfect example of what Hamza Tsortsis was saying. So you'd have to say, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you've got your science and then you've got what the, what the Quran is actually saying. And mm -hmm. then there's whether, whether this could be known ahead of time. So okay. for many centuries, Muslims understood that. And, and, and keep in mind, this, this ties into what we were talking about earlier, where you got uh, Surah 22.5, which, right. uh, which is, hey, if you doubt the resurrection, just think about human beings being created. How can, why, why, wouldn't, why would you think a resurrection is impossible when amazing stuff is happening? Um, but here it's a similar thing. It's like th there's, there's all this natural theology in the Quran about the way things are set up. And the way I the way I read a passage like this is something I could totally agree with. It's mm -hmm. like, hey, God has made it so that you have sea for sea life and 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 you've got seawater for that, but you can't drink it. But over here, he's got he's got fresh water. But but, but is that not separate, scientific there's... miracle? Isn't that miracle that that no, no, waters... no, knowing that I can drink out of this, drink out of this water and that I can't drink that water is not miraculous scientific knowledge. Anyone at the time could have could have known. That. No, it's the, that's not the miraculous part. The miraculous part is about the two seas, right? That there's a barrier that is not visible to the human eyes, right? It's it's about it's not about that's not what it says. I mean, OK, do, we could read. the. I don't know how much time it, you have, but we could read it. Yeah, I have to. I have to go, but but uh, yeah, right. Thaddeus, Thaddeus, if you want to go through that passage, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and Avery, if you want to look at it, it, and then pull up the uh, pull up the commentaries, and uh, yeah, right. uh, catch y'all later. It's a, a cool live stream, and and uh, pretty pretty friendly most of the time. So that's all. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you, David. Yeah, Thanks. Hey, that's man. called. That's called. That say it's progress. Things can be heated <laughs> at certain times, but then it calms down. All right, yeah. catch y'all later. For sure. Take care, bro. All right, this this will be the the final point too. That is, you deal with this thoroughly. Okay. Uh, yep. Yep. Uh, so I have a presentation on this. I'll I'll go ahead and share my screen. I think it'll be helpful to to kind of see what we're talking about. And thank so you for the, the super chat. His minister of fire. He said, "Here's the jizzia." <laughs> Appreciate it, bro. <laughs> so we got the miracle of the seas not mixing. Um, mm -hmm. It's usually fifty five nineteen twenty is the most common verse. It's it's listed a couple places in the Quran, but it's the most common one. He Sahi International here. He released the two C's meeting. Translator adds side by side. Between them is a barrier. Neither of them transgresses. Right. Uh, this down here is just one specific Muslim that I'm responding to making the claim, but we already got the claim, so we can just go on from that. So here on the second slide, the, this particular Muslim I'm responding to, they also drew on this verse, 2553. And is he who released the two seas, one fresh and sweet and one salty and bitter, and he placed between them a barrier and prohibiting partition? You know, mm -hmm. It's kind of the, the same material. Uh, so I have five criteria that I use to evaluate any scientific miracle claim. Uh, one, it has to be true. Uh, it has to match scientific consensus. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that, that's fairly obvious, right? <laughs> does that, this, um, does that, this does that, right? So yeah, that's yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So... So that's going to be the first one. And, uh, well, yes and no. Uh, so, uh -oh. so it, it's going to actually say no, not really on my slide. And, and the reason is because I'm responding to what that specific Muslim said, which may or may not be exactly what you said. Um, now, what, what we're going to get down to is the contention. The, the gist is going to be, is there a fixed barrier in, in the sea, right? Because... Mm -hmm. The, this says that between them is a barrier, neither of them transgresses. So there's some sort of barrier. Um, you know, you're going to claim that this is an invisible unseen barrier. The water doesn't transgress. And that, that's actually not accurate. Um, this picture, which you alluded to, this is glacial water running off into the Bay of Alaska. It's been, it's been labeled many other things, but that's what this picture actually is. Uh, it, it is a glacial runoff that 
fresh water running into the sea. And what's actually happening, although there's this distinct color difference, right, is, is that they're mixing. <laughs> they, they are literally mixing. There's no barrier here. It's just that because fresh water is lighter and uh, it, there's a lot of it going into the sea, that for a period of time, it remains on the surface before it sinks. And this barrier, this so-called barrier, this meeting point is constantly changing. It's constantly moving. Wait, around. so you said, sorry to interrupt. You said they mix, right? But if you, if you drank one side of that versus the other side, would they taste different? Well, okay. They meet, they mix at a point that obviously they don't mix everywhere, which is what the Quran is actually talking about. It's, it's talking about how rivers don't mix with uh, the, the, you know, the ocean doesn't overcome the river and, and make the river salty. Um, so but yeah, it, it, on the mm -hmm. one side is fresh water and the other is, is salt water, but there's no barrier. There's just a mixing point. So the, the force of the water going into the ocean is, you're saying mixing, time. you're saying mixing point, but where is there three, because it, there's one side the, of the, the line. Water. Sure. Sorry. Go ahead. The, 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 the visual you see in this picture is the mixing point. It's the same, mm -hmm. same principle as what you have it when you have a freshwater river run into the sea. So that, what's the mixing point? How would the water taste at that mixing point? Uh, the the term used is brackish. It's semi salt, like it's not as salty as salt water, but it's not fresh water either. The the term used is brackish. Um, so, uh, you know, at, at this exact point, I mean, it, it's going to depend on where you dip your glass, obviously, into the ocean, exactly how it's going to taste. But there's no, not there's. So a, to, a barrier should keep them from mixing, right? And the barrier isn't transgressed. They, they should never mix. But in mm -hmm. fact, they are mixing. And the runoff is just strong enough that it doesn't mix at the exact shore. Um, and the same thing happens at rivers. You know, when you have a, a river coming in, if it's a big, powerful river, the fresh water goes out into the ocean for a period of time before it completely mixes. But if you, if you, you know, if you sample right next to the shore, it's almost 100% fresh. You sample out 100 feet or whatever, it might be 70% fresh water. 200 feet, it might be 40% fresh water. It's a gradual process of mixing but, but before you, you go out. Right, but you haven't, in my eyes at least, you haven't proven that the water does mix. Because you just said that the uh, the fresh water is less salty and it, it, or it's less dense, sorry, than the, than the other water. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it wouldn't. How would it like? I'm trying to figure oh, out. Okay, right, so this, right, right. So this water will taste like that. This water will taste like that. So you're telling me brackish right. water. So where would that in that picture? Where would the brackish water be? Yeah, so it's going to be like right at the edge here, um, like in that, the white so partition, like, like so, the, like the whitish part, right? The mm -hmm. where it's kind of like it looks like a little wave. That's probably going to be like, you know, ninety percent fresh, and then if you you go out. In this case, just a couple of inches, it's going to be 70 percent and a couple more inches. It's going to be 40 percent or whatever. Um, in this particular sh case, it's going to be really fast, the mixing. So it's going to be right there. And you can actually duplicate this principle in, in your own home. You can ma make like a glass of really salty water. And if you pour fresh water on top of it, as long as you pour it slowly enough, it, it's not going to mix initially. But if you wait a day or something, it'll be mixed. So it's it's not a barrier it's just that the process isn't instantaneous mm. okay so so referring to that you're basically saying that 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 it cannot be a, a scientific miracle then uh well so i have five criteria right so let's let's not worry about the the true one for for the moment because that was the the why i say it's not really exactly true um but that's actually going to be less relevant um i think probably to you than, than the other criteria. Uh, so let me just go ahead and uh, introduce the, sorry, my, my cat's blocking my mind or something. I'm struggling to, to see where the button is to advance the slide. Uh, okay, so here I said it, you know, I said that the viral picture is glacial runoff. Um, and, the, and this particular Muslim in, that I'm responding to signals out the Mediterranean Sea, and that's very common. That's the, the usual one that they point to between the Atlantic Ocean and the the Mediterranean Sea claiming there's no mixing, which is simply false. Um, and then this is this picture right here. This picture is something that's often cited as proof of this miracle. And the irony here is that uh, I tracked down the book it comes from and 
the the coloring has been added to try to make it look like there's not mixing but what the diagram is supposed to show is how the Atlantic Ocean is going into the Mediterranean basin and, and a small amount of the Mediterranean Sea is spilling out and, and it's down lower because it, it, it's uh, denser water uh, and the Atlantic is at the top and like if you just look at the you know the coloring of the picture like oh they're not mixing but that's not what the author who drew this picture is is actually saying at all because those coloring isn't there in the or, original version. Uh, so yeah, that, that's his quote about it, but I won't worry about that since you didn't make the Mediterranean Sea. And, and here you can kind of see the same phenomenon with a, a muddy river, right? You can see how the river is going into the, the bigger body of water. I don't know exactly what river this is, so I can't say what the body of water is, but the, the small river is going into the bigger body of water. And you can see how since it's it's been raining and there's mud in it, you can see how it's not like mixing immediately. But if you look really closely and you zoom in, you can see that at the edges, it's starting to mix. Yeah, but... And, okay, go ahead, sir. Yeah, I, and the, the Muslim eyes responding to claim that the same thing happens at rivers. Um, so that's why I was doing that. So so let's now look at what the tafsir say, because this uh, is one of the criteria that I have, is that the tafsir have to actually agree with the interpretation. That doesn't mean every tafsir has to say it, but if the verse actually says what is claimed, then someone should have said it, right? They should have said that one possible interpretation of this verse is that there's an invisible barrier somewhere out there in the sea. And so as David alluded to, Ibn Kether, he just straight up says it's dry land, right? That, that the barrier being discussed is, is dry land, that Allah in his wisdom, he, he put the fresh water that's useful to humans in, in lakes and Elsewhere, uh, then he put a, a barrier of water between it, or I mean a barrier of land between it, and then the salty water that's useless to human beings, or at least not very useful to human beings. Um, so al Tabri says that it offers three interpretations. He says it could be dry land. He says that it might refer to the separation between the water of the sky and the water of the land. So here he's alluding to the, the common belief at the time that the sky is a barrier that keeps water out. So he was thinking that it might be that. Uh, or the third interpretation he offers is that it's metaphorical and that it's actually referring not to water at all, but to, to people who are salty and people who are sweet, i.e. people who are receptive to the, the message of Islam and people who are opposed to it. And Kurt Tabi offers the same interpretations as Al-Tabri. So these are the, you know, the three best ancient commentaries. And to the best of my knowledge, there isn't any commentary which says anything about the sea. Uh, out of about an invisible barrier in the sea. They all think that it's some sort of obvious barrier. And, and I think the reason they think this is because, it, you know, going back to the verse real quick, it specifically says, sorry, there's, there's a criteria, the, the, the two seas, right? It doesn't say that when, where seas meet, there's a barrier, but it says there's only, it, it says the two seas, right? Definite article that it thinks there is two types of seas. And then when, Sorry, I keep hitting the wrong button. And, and then when you compare it to 2553, which explicitly says one fresh and one, one sweet, the, all the tafsirs are, are interpreting in this way, that it's talking about the division between I, fresh water and salty water as opposed mm -hmm. to uh, the phenomenon that, uh, I, I think it's actually, it's called like a picocline or, or something like that, which is actually just a barrier, you know, a quote unquote barrier, which isn't really a barrier in between any two bodies of water, the, the you know, they could both be salty, right? And, um, this picture is sometimes labeled as the meeting point of the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean or the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean or, or something else, because it's supposedly the barrier that's keeping these two large bodies of water apart from one another. All right. I'm, I'm reading, I'm reading in Kateri right now. I'm, I'm not quite it's not quite what you're saying because what i'm reading of what he said was that it was a divine barrier between the two so that that can't be seen so he he is saying that it can't be seen and that uh, it's, a, it's a divine barrier between the sweet water and the salt water uh which so, which, which verse is that in reference to because i was specifically no, no, the agreeing. Taps here. i was i was talking about the tap yeah yeah, yeah. so the taps here on which verse uh because the, the tafsir I looked at was on, um, you know, 55, but he could say something different about one of the other verses because it, it's in the Quran about four times. Right. So, well, he's, ta he's talking about, all, he's talking about all of them, 55, 19 through 21, 27, uh, 61. And, well, um, I mean, 
Uh, yeah, but the, the tafsir is organized by verse. So can you tell me which verse he's talking about when he says that so I can look it up later? I mean, I can look, I guess I could look it, at it, the one It's the one you're talking, it's the one you're talking about, 55, 19 through 21. Okay. Uh, it says, it says, he's saying he has set a, ba a, a barrier and a complete partition between them, meaning that the sweet water and the salt water means uh, a complete partition means a barrier to prevent one of them from reaching the other. So it has nothing right. to do with it has it has nothing to do with. Well, uh, he goes on. He goes on to describe it as dry land. So that that's just saying there is a barrier. I I don't disagree that he would say that. Mm. But you said that he said something about about it being invisible. Yeah, yeah, about it being a divine a divine barrier not seen by the eye. Uh. I, but then what you just read didn't say anything about being uh, not being seen by the eye. And I... Uh, well, uh, so means so dry land means one of them from each and the other. Uh, okay, so this is for the 2761 that I was wrong. So it's okay. for 2761, um, which also refers to it as well. Either Either or, just in big picture... You know, I, I I think that that's like a yoga stretch trying to say that's not a scientific miracle just because I feel like I, well, I haven't actually I, just given you my reasons. <laughs> no, no. And I, and, I, and I I didn't even talk. I was just listening the whole time. My, yeah, yeah, my yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. You've been very respectful. My, my Yeah. My thing is, is that like there's a lot of like yoga stretching and stuff going on when it comes to that because it's like you can you can I mean, atheists do it the best. Right. They just try to prove everything. Like I could tell you, like. I was on a hike yesterday. I was looking at the mountain, the ocean, everything. Like I could tell you, like, yo, look at this. How could God not have? How how could there not be a God? And they they'll come sit down and try to give you all these theories and stuff on on the you know whatever they they want to. So I I, I don't know. I I'm personally not satisfied in your answer in terms of me changing my opinion. But that's okay because it's not we're yeah, not yeah, we're not yeah. here to convert. We're not here to convert people. You feel me? But it's like it's more just we gotta wrap know, up, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I I looked at twenty seven sixty one, and I'm not seeing mm -hmm. the words that you said. So, um, I it could be a different translation, um, but I, I'm not seeing it. That's what I'm saying, man. We all got to learn we, Arabic, hey, man. If if y'all, bro, you, you got you got you got a. Uh, we're gonna be live tomorrow. I'm gonna be live tomorrow. Uh, you got time? You can come back. S same time. Uh, that works for you. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm no, actually. I'm not, I'm, I'm actually gonna be alive a little earlier, like probably at um. Are you are you from Cali? Yeah, I'm from the West Side, bro. I'm from I'm from Bompton. <laughs> sure. Okay, so but but but, but I was in, I was in, I was so in San be, Diego in my days. You was in was, San Diego in your days. I was with okay. the Somal I was in Somali. I was with the Somalians. You feel me? Up got, to no we, good. We, we, we got we got to meet together and do a video, man. Oh, bro, I'm I'm not even in this world, bro. Like the religion world, like I I just. I just am interested in it, but I, I leave that to Uthman and and uh, the no, warrior and all I, I them care, guys. I care, I care about your soul, man. So, bro, I, uh, brother, I care about yours too, bro. Come on, exactly. man. Like, so we should talk. Hey, bro, the church. So we should talk. Hey, bro, the church. Hey, bro, the church wasn't even letting letting, letting us drink from the water hey. fountain until 1980s, bro. Come on. Uh, I, don't, gotta, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care about. I don't care about. I don't care about all that. I care about the truth. Can I ask you to do something for me? Can you, can to you me? post a link? Yeah. Can you post a link to what you're reading so that I can uh, look at it? Yeah, I got my laptop. I'll send it to my phone and I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll be back. Yeah, tomorrow. yeah. Just post, if you, yeah, if you post back, a link we'll, in the we'll comments. Continue. Once the once the stream ends, there'll be you'll be able to post a link in the comments section. What, what's, so your you post... what's, your, what, what's your channel? What's your channel? Oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Is... You can go to my channel, reasonedanswers.com. Or, I mean, reasonedanswers.com. <laughs> yeah, well, I do have hey, reasonedanswers.com. Hey, hey, That's I not what I meant to say. Go to, to, to reasonedanswers, my channel, or email yeah. me. Uh, I'll put my email in the private chat. Yeah. Uh, I want to I wanna ask and, you a question real quick. The, uh, what's your name, we gotta, bro? We got to go. We got to go. You talking about me? No, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, not a question about religion. Just, just a, a, a question. So, I seen you. In San Diego, you know, debating. So I just have one simple question: Do, do you do you respect Uthman? No, you don't respect him. No. Oh, okay, got it. I just want to know. All yeah. right, I, I respect a lot of people, but once someone loses my respect, and he's he lost my respect as a as a person. So does just that mean you stop you stop going to his booth, or or are you still? Of course up? not. 
Of course not. He's out there lying to people. So we're gonna we're gonna address and take down the lies. Got it, bro. All right, bet. Well, Uh, but yeah, I'll be live tomorrow, man. If you got time, come on through. Uh, we'll it'll be more of an open discussion, so we won't be focused so much on scientific stuff. We'll be talking about anything, talking about the Bible and everything, bro. Don't make me start with John 2017. I'm 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 coming hot. If we talk, all right, yeah, come (laughs) come hot, come hot, come hot. So I put my email in the private chat. So if got you could it. do me a favor and email me what you're looking at so I can check it out. Oh, I yeah. could be wrong, right? I, I'm open to the it. possibility of being wrong. All right. I appreciate yeah. you, boys. Keep, yeah, let me, let me tell you why. Let me just tell you why really yeah. quick. Uh, yeah. Uth- Uthman, Uthman lied about something about me. And we both agreed that once we went back and checked the video, if one of us like was was mistaken, that we would come out and say that we were mistaken. Um, and uh, so once it came out that he actually was untrue about what he said about me, he still hasn't honored his word. So I do not have respect. Like for about you personally, or yes, about me personally. Oh, so not to do a religion. Got it. Oh well, yeah, awesome. our discussion, and he said that I that I lied. He's it's a personal attack saying that I'm a liar. So he's attacking me personally. Man, and everybody, saying, ev- everybody, everybody think everybody a liar, man. Come no, on, no, my, my point, but my point is when you say that someone is a liar and then you say mm-hmm. I have proof and we say, OK, let's let's shake on it as men that if you are wrong about this, that you will come up and you will apologize publicly and, and renounce what you said. And we both shook and said, yeah, we would do that. Um, and he, it's been proven that he was wrong and he has still hasn't come out and did but that. But did, did, did he prove it? Did he say he was wrong or did you just say it was wrong? We proved that he was wrong from the clip of the video. Cause he said that I said something and did something that I didn't do or say it's in the video. I, I have a whole video on it. Got it. Want. So, so it's a little more personal than just like, it's a little more personal than just religion. Cause, cause he, he got a lot of, of knowledge. Course. It's, it's a, it's a personal attack. And so you yeah. ask me, do I, re- when you ask me, do no, I no. respect someone? That's a personal no, I understand. thing. No, I understand. I, mean? I understand. I, I thought I, I was talking more about the knowledge. I didn't even know stuff got that personal. No, not I, even I, his knowledge. He doesn't know anything. <laughs> come on, bro. I'm serious. Come on. He, he, come on, he didn't bro. even know. He didn't even know. He said that he studied. He has all these little stickies in his in his Bible and tries to pretend that he knows the Bible and he studied it. And bro, he didn't even know when I, when I when I told him to go to First Corinthians, he didn't even know which way to go. Bro, come on, bro. It's on unvi- all of it is on video. His ignorance is on video, bro. I'm not even like being bro, biased watched- or anything. Bro, I started. That's how I found out about you, bro. I was watching both. Of, I was watching both of y'all. You, you be up in there. I ain't gonna lie. You be, you be, you be. They, if they blocking you, you putting the camera. You lifting that camera up, doing the slam dunk with it. I seen you, but, but, but you know, I'm still saying, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, you can't, you can't say that, bro's not not. If anything, bro, like he, he, he do be giving you the work sometimes. Come on, he be giving you the work. Not, not, not me. There's bro, no work. That he you, you wear, you wear glasses out there, huh? Or is that your twin? So, so, so this is what I would love. I would love <laughs> when you come back next time, I want you yeah. to tell me exactly where he made a good point against me. Okay. Man, that MacArthur Bible. I remember exactly. Isaiah 42 or 22. Which, which all right, one? All right, man? Come, come, on. come back. We'll, come back. We'll talk about it. Come back. We'll talk about it. Yeah. Let's talk. All right. All right. Y'all have a good night though. All right. You too, man. Be safe, man. Right, Be safe and bumping. All right. Bless up. All right. All right. That is. Well, the stream well done, man, by the grace of God, man. Right. Amen. Uh, amen. I, it was a good stream today. We had some good discussions for sure. And mm-hmm. I think that every Muslim agreed with us on the basic principle mm-hmm. that you can't find you can't use scientific miracles in the Quran as evidence for the truth of Islam. That's right. That's right. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen. This is Thaddeus from Reason Answers. If you have not subscribed to his channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. He also does live streams where he invites people on and things of this nature. So go ahead and 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 subscribe if you love this type of content. So it's not just me, but we got brothers out here like Thaddeus that do that do the same thing. Um, as well, if you want to support uh, this channel, you want to support me in the ministry. We're trying to be, do full time. Please consider becoming a patron. All my links are in the description if you want to use PayPal or Zelle or uh, Cash App or something. Uh, or if you just want to become a, a patron, I would love I would love that as well. Whatever works for you, I'm grateful for everything, okay? Um, but make sure that you hit a like on this, on this video. Make sure you hit that like button. And uh, always know this, that you need to stay away from Islam, uh, that abortion is murder. And that there's only one God who is triune, who in the person of his son came down, Thaddeus, died for our sins, 
took the punishment that we deserved, rose on the third day in authority, and is ascended next to the right hand of the Father, full of grace and truth. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the only way to salvation. And that's the God logic right there. All right, peace. It's God.